What's up everybody, Camera here, and I am streaming through me working on Pokemon Title again! This is my eighth time streaming through it now, so let's see how far we can get tonight. I'm probably gonna do like another like four hours, it's gonna be great. And uh, yeah, I have learned something amazing and I'm gonna show you it right now. It's, it blows my mind that I just learned it today, which is actually kind of sad that I just learned it today. It's super important and it's like a, it's like a staple of making a Pokemon game, or playing Pokemon games at least. And I'll show you how to do it. First things first, you're going to want to go onto YouTube and find the encounter music that you want. Basically, it's when a, when a trainer sees you. So this is the youngster seeing you from Pokemon Black and White. I can do is copy the link, go to your any normal YouTube to MP3 converter for uh, grabbing audio. And while this is downloading, what you're going to want to do is go to the uh, Pokemon Essentials wiki, look at trainers, look at defining trainers. There is one thing called, it's the seventh field in the trainer types. It's called intro ME. If undefined, the default ME is used. There is no default ME. So what I need to do is go into my trainer types, find my trainer that I want, youngster, and look at the seventh field. Field one is his ID, field two, field three, field four. Field five is actually the battle music for all youngsters that I can set. Field 6, Field 7, and then this, this field will be our intro music that, he's, that it plays when he sees you. So if our music has finished downloading, it has, cool, I can download it, I can get my encounter young, youngster man, I can close this now. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll download more encounter music, but what I then do is go to my Pokemon game, I go to my audio, I go into the ME folder, because it's... Uh, intro ME. The, it's, 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 ugh, if I would stop stroking out for a second, it's a specific folder for specific audio, and I'm gonna name this. I'll name this. I'll name this all caps E for encounter, and then youngster. .mp3. Then I can go to my trainer types again and type in E youngster .mp3. Save it. Now, every time I lock eyes with a youngster, it will play the uh, youngster music. I didn't have this in any of my previous Pokemon games, which is kind of a shame because all Pokemon games have it. When a trainer locks eyes with you, it plays music when they see you. So, you know, at least now I f finally figured it out, which is kind of sad. Let me also unmute my game. And let's warp. Anime Cat 3, welcome. How you doing? What's going on? Sorry, I was kind of a... Uh, I was kind of in a uh, in lecture mode almost. Welcome back though. What's going on? I've been seeing... I saw the uh, the concept art that you sent. It is pretty damn sweet. It plays the music! And then it plays other music. But yeah, so that's how you get music to play when a trainer locks eyes with you. Which I really wish that I got earlier. But now I but now I get it. Now I get it, I got it, it's done. It's great. Okay. So I guess there's a couple things that I should do this stream. One thing one big thing that I wanna um, tackle this stream is the remapping of Ginkgo Island, which is Island number two. So I could start working on that right now. It's gonna be an absolute nightmare though due to the fact that there's so many different tiles being used, and uh, once all of this changes, it's gonna be a little crazy. It's basically gonna be like remaking the island. What I can do is use events to kind of like mark the general positions of things, but for the most part, everything's just about to get really messed up. What I can do to help me keep track of things, though, is use events for the places of doors. So, for example, our gym can use, like, a gym door. Our house can just use, like, a wooden door. Like this. And our other house can use another wooden door. There we go. Alright. So, wish me luck. Cross your fingers. Here goes the, uh... Maybe I should just nuke the whole place, honestly. Maybe I should just nuke it. I mean, maybe I could remember the general format. 
It's gonna be so crazy to have to redo. This is a tough call, this is a tough call. You know what? Before I start working on the mapping of it, let me actually work on the tile set a little bit real quick. I do want to have this place... I, I want this place to have yellow trees. So I think I'm just going to copy... Maybe this tree? Maybe... These trees. Copy these trees. And, uh... Turn them yellow real quick. And then once that's done, then we can start... I'm basically, like, putting off working on it, because it's going to be crazy. Yellow trees, I'll put them... Oh, no. Line them up like so. You got to get it just right. Something tells me these are going to be a little bit off. That can be fixed later, though. Right now, it's not too too big of a deal if I mess it up a little or a lot. Right now, what matters is the art. So essentially, what I want to be doing... What I could actually do... I might be able to just get away with... Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to be a lot easier than I originally thought. Let me make a duplicate and show it off and see if I can get the method to work. So on this duplicate, I think what I can do is a color overlay of type hue. Yeah, so there's red. I can probably just... See, this isn't the best. It doesn't look amazing. But it actually kind of... Kind of look a little orange. It's way better than having to... Bushwick Island. I know, man. That's not bad. I mean, I think I wanted slightly... I think I wanted brighter yellow, but for now, that's not bad. Shrek Island will make a glorious return one day. So I think what I can do is put this layer up above. And then erase all the traces of green. But I still want to maintain the brown uh, trunk. So I can just erase everything up above this line. Oh, let me just use the select tool then. If you want to erase an, an, if you want to erase an area, just select an area. Okay. Using the select tool to delete stuff is actually, like, pretty nice. For smaller things like this, though, I'm, I don't know. It might be faster to use the uh, eraser. But this way, this way guarantees precision, at least. You're guaranteed to select a square. There's no going rogue. There you go. Hmm. Or maybe, see there's another alternative I can do. What I can do is leave the base yellow, and then have like yellow grass on this island too. Let's see, the, the grass that I use is this grass right here. But then I might also have to do yellow here. Hmm. Yellow ledges. See, that might not be worth then. I'll keep it like the way I currently have it, where it's gonna be green base, but yellow. Let's also see exactly how much I messed up the uh, tile set. Saverino. Okay. Oh yeah, this is not using the right tile set. I need uh, I need to check it on a map that does have the right tile set. Okay. How much did I mess it up? Did I mess it up at all? I didn't mess it up. It's not messed up in the slightest, actually. Hey, can we move down a little bit? Just a little bit. But other than that, you know, it's basically perfect. Let's move this layer down. I mean, both of these layers, I guess. Was that the only problem? I think I moved it down too much now, actually. Maybe I can't move it down at all. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. Alright. So now for the painful part. The remapping. Alright, wish me luck. Here goes nothing. Pull the trigger. Don't look back. Never look back. Alright. Well, 
here we have our island. Ugh. Jesus. So this is what happens when you change tile sets. It'll be worth it in the end, but right now it's definitely, uh... Definitely an ordeal. First things first, do a little bit of this. Replace all the ocean with the ocean that we like. It's basically good. Hmm. I might just replace the entire bottom layer with ocean. You know, feel the motion of the ocean. So two, eight. If I get the entire first layer to be ocean, it'll make it a lot more bearable later. One, two. Look at all the painting. Look at it. It's terrible. Okay. So the elephant in the room for this is the second and third layer. Those will all be completely redone. Obviously. Alright, but right now the entire first layer by the looks of things is ocean. Nope, not this layer. Not this tile. Cool. Now everything's ocean. Now for the neat part, the fun part. Honestly, let's just scrap this and work bit by bit. So if I recall, these were stairs. Hmm. Let this be a cautionary tale. Are you sending me back in 15 minutes? All right, I'll see you when you get back, man. Thanks for letting me know. Let this be a cautionary tale right here, though. Know what style of tile set you want to do going into the game when you start it. Because if you change tile set, you'll end up having to do stuff like this. And it's, uh, it's a doozy. It'll, it, the, end, the end result is beyond worth it, but, you know. Well, you gotta crack a few eggs. To get this omelet. Uh, let's add like a little bit of beach arena here. Cool. I think I went up one too many. Boom! Boom. Dr. Skull. Hey, what's up, man? Any sprites? There are a couple. Um, some of them I still need to uh, iron out a little bit. Um, let me see. There are a couple that I want to show off. Yeah, one, I've actually been throwing them in my uh, title document. Let me uh, close this. <laughs> command thing. <laughs> nice try. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna try to call a command, like at least put a little bit of effort into it, because just typing exclamation command thing is not gonna do jack. Um, if you wanna if you want to look at the title document, it's exclamation point. T I D A L D O C. Title doc. Um, but yeah, I got the sprites for the uh, salamander, and one of the evolutions of the salamander for the uh, the flavors. Title. No, no, I said T I D A L. Tide title, like like the name of my game. 
Like, like, duh. Put it like here. Something about that doesn't feel like it aligns, but I guess it works. Are you for real, man? T I D A L. Like, like, like. I actually have to call you out on that. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jalo. <laughs> well. Welcome in. Okay. Third layer. These were the... I think I'm not going to make it as steep. This place was definitely too steep before. And these will be stairs. Um, Maybe kind of... Kind of go around. And painfully, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for alleviating. <laughs> Leave a Pokemon? Alright. Well, uh, uh, so oftentimes an idea is not enough. I'm at, I'm at the point right now where I don't like... Unless it's a super crazy good idea, then, uh... Then I, I'd rather not just have like I don't know. I guess I, you have to like catch me in the right mood almost sometimes to just throw an idea my way. Okay, but I'll I'll, I'll let you throw it my way. I'll I'll let you pitch it. Like what what is this idea? No. <laughs> Wider stairs. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have these. Why have I not been using these? Boom, there we go. An idea for Pokemon. It's focus of the game? Okay, so right now the focus of the game, Jawo, is... Right now? Restabuzz? Or Pure Bug? Yeah. When you say that you have an idea, don't, don't lead with the name. Lead with the, uh... Lead with the species, almost. Like, lead with what type of animal it is. Um, what's the focus of the game, though? Right now, the fo um... It's... Shoot. I don't know how to answer that right now. <laughs> I mean, because I guess the focus of the stream... Is... Retiling everything with the black and white tile sets. The focus of the game is... There isn't really any right now. I have an idea for a uh, general outline. Like, um, how the the general story flow. But right now, the focus is just, like, build the islands. <laughs> it's a bed bug. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Are bed bugs a real thing? Yeah, if it's a sleeping bug, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, they are. Oh. Oh, wow. They're real annoying, too. Okay. Yeah, I know that. I had no idea that they were a real thing. I thought it was just like a... Like a saying. <laughs> You're gonna say, don't let the bed bugs bite. Like, uh, let me Google it. Ew. These are gross. Ah, oh, they... Eh! Eh! <laughs> eh! Spooky bug. Boom. 
It's gotta go down a little bit like so. Like so. Da -da -da -da. Looks like mold on your bed. Ew. Gross. Hello, rest of us. I don't know if it's if it's if it needs three forms. Okay. So then this goes up and meets like here. I think I had trees on a thing up here. I'll talk to you. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Because there are some ideas that like I really like and go with, and some some I'm hesitant. Alright, up we go here. Maybe this place will be like four layers. That might be the idea. Okay. And then another layer... Like here. Just kind of like relaxing almost to do the mapping. Like it's a lot of mapping that needs to be done on this particular map, but you know. It's kind of kind of cool. Countries, for sure, yeah. I appreciate the thought and the enthusiasm. Okay, so then this can wrap around like so. One thing I really like about this tile set is the way that the cliffs look. It's a lot more pronounced. What's the top of a cliff? And it makes it so much easier to layer stuff. It was such a pain in the ass in the other tile set, so at least this is a drastic improvement. And I think this goes... Yeah, look at how nice that looks now. God dang, that's so much better. Well, I mean... I have to, I have to think of that one. Because right now, right now I'm not really struggling for Pokedex entries. But when the time comes... Who am I going to call? I'm going to call the Ghostbusters. But then who do I call after the Ghostbusters? Oh, I know. Alright. Maybe make this a little bit less... There we go. And now that it's already been tiled out a little bit, it's a lot easier to just, like, copy and paste, essentially. Skullbusters. Who am I gonna call? Who am I gonna call? Let's make this one go in a little bit more. true. Okay. And then what I could do... Let's see. Crap, I messed it up. Damn, this one's a close call. I have to almost like... Bend it immediately. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So there is one downside to the layering of this. One small downside. It's super dark. Oh, I don't want them to be too dark. For the most part, this game will be like really lighthearted. There will still be some serious stuff. I tried serious with uh, noir and I kind of got burned out. So 
So this is a lot of forest over here. I kind of just want to take these and change them, but how am I going to go about that? Seems like I would need a tile for that, and then a tile for... this. I can make this a little bit easier on myself. There is something I can do to make this easier on myself. I think I'm gonna work on doing that right now. Let me just make sure I've got the right thought process here. Oh yeah! Wait, I might already have the tile then. Might I already have the tile? I don't believe I do. But yeah, this is one of those one tile solves all situations, which I am grateful for. Check it out, I'll show you what I mean. Actually no, I, this is a two tile, two tile solves all situation. Because I need one for left and one for right. Easy enough. So, this tile, let me get a 32 by 32. I believe that this is, no wait, okay, cool. So it lines up like about here. All right, so then from here to here, there's a 32 by 32 I need to copy and make two versions of. Which I shall do now. Copy, and I can work on them like down here. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, I copied from the wrong, do I still have my selection at least? I can retain, I can, I can bring it back. Copy. So I need to make sure I'm copying from the right layer. Copy, okay, time to make two new tiles. I'll actually paste them up above here. All right, we're already like almost done. So now I just need a left and a right. So let's see, if this is 32 by 32 here. Then what I could do is go from here to 32 by 32. And then one more to wind my way down to be the exact tile I want. Cool. So this selection here is the exact tile I want. Actually, no, not yet. I'm still one away. I'm almost there. 32 by 32. And then one more to the left. I want this 32 by 32. And then I want to make sure I'm selecting from the right layer. Copy it. Paste it. And then... Put it here on the inside. Is that the inside? I may have messed this up. Perhaps I didn't. Cool, I think I'm good. And then another one of those that's transform flipped horizontally. Cool. So two tiles solves all. That's the situation. The kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen. I do like Parashock though. Save. Save. Cool. All right. So now we've got our new tile set. Let me uh, define these new tiles. I also need to define the yellow trees. But essentially this tile goes there. Perfect. This tile goes there. Perfect. Look at that. Working smarter, not harder. That's what they say, right? That's what all the kids are saying nowadays. You kids and you're working smarter. Jacko guy speedy? I guess? Make him fast? I thought he was supposed to be tanky, though. Also, he might become grass ghost because... We have another grass fire that's like a like a pepper salamander, and I don't want to have too many grass fires. I think grass ghost would actually fit in pretty decently with the uh, 
the pacing of the game. There are, a, are there are a particular couple of places where Grass Ghost could actually come in a lot of handy, and it would definitely see more use. If if he has to be Grass Fire, then that kind of hurts his chances of being in the game. But Grass Ghost, Grass Ghost can work out very nicely. I've got a couple ideas. Got a couple ideas. Okay, let me uh, work on the... I have to set the passage and... Um, what's it? Terrain tag? I believe it's four for the cliffs. Oh, I need to do that for these still. It's kind of a big deal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Grass goes speedy. Okay, yeah, grass goes speedy. That'll definitely... Uh, Be interesting to put in the game. I can make these four as well. Cool. And then these are all four. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Alright, now what I need to do is just get my corner pieces and get them in place. So I'm glad I made that. That'll make all future cliffs that I work on. A lot easier. One end out, tile out. Veggie man, what's going on, man? How you doing? Well, I'm <laughs> Veggie man, right now, check out what I'm doing. Um, I have replaced one set of tiles with a new set of tiles, and I really have to uh, remake everything. But the end result is things look really nice, like this, or like this. So it's worth. It's just, you know, very time consuming. The cat thing. Which one is that? Let me see. Let me consult the uh, documents. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's going to be pretty cool. I just got to be careful not to have too many ghosts. Looking good? Yeah, it's looking good. It uh, I, Okay, Veggie Man, if you want to stick around, I want to show you one other thing. It's kind of cool. I want to show it off. I've been showing off. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when you can leave. <laughs> I know you're. I know you're. You're a busy, a busy vegetable eater. Let me use my uh, godlike cheats to walk on the water. All right. Let me know if you think this is a really interesting or intense um, battle opening animation. See, that's pretty cool. I've been showing it off to everyone. And he throws out this big guy. All right, but I can close now. I, I've got I've got mapping I got to do. I've got chill music I got to listen to. Let me put my chill music back on. We're just lazzle. Kinda, yeah. Bum bum. Ba -ba. Anime cat, welcome back. What's going on? Stay goes normal. I kind of agree. Yeah. Ghost normal is really interesting typing. Mm -hmm. you like it? Okay, cool. It passes the test. Damn it! Did I need to put this on a different layer? Oh, screw it. I'll put it all on this layer for now. Spookers. You can, but luckily I haven't hit that point yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wonder Guard. Oh my gosh. Like the concept? Yes. I absolutely love the little one for the anemone up there. The evolution is really nice too. But in terms of which one I, which one I, I really love the little one with the little angry face and the little mouth and the little hair up there. It kind of reminds me of Misdrevious in a way, but I like it better than Misdrevious, if that makes sense. Na na, 
Oh yeah, let me show it off on the stream, by the way. I like this little one up here. This one's pretty good too. This one's not bad at all. But this this little one I love. I love the cute little Pokemon. They have like the little mouths. The little eyes. He's got the little clown one hiding behind it too. This little jokester. What a clown. He's becoming more and more clowny each time. Definitely, definitely looks like Poplio though. This little one though. I love this little one. This little, little cutie. Alright, back to... Tiles. Oh, I just realized I did make a mistake here. Good that I caught it now rather than later, but I do need to add like two more layers. Or maybe I'll just add one layer. I think I'll just add one. This should be simple enough. It'll be simple and clean. Alright. Another layer down. Another one by Sadust, you know. Yeah, the end result will be absolutely worth it. Alright. Remember what this island looked like. Or remember what it looks like right now, when it looks all, like, tattered and all over the place? Okay. Maybe I should take a picture of it for, like, before and after, for, like, a... To, like, remember. But yeah, take a mental screenshot of it right now. A mental, a mental screenshot, or I guess it's a mental picture. Why am I saying mental screenshot? That's weird. Yeah, a mental picture of how crappy it looks right now. And then once it's completed... Ooh, take another one. Look cool. Yeah, it's gonna look it's gonna look great once it's done. Methinks. I'm definitely gonna be changing a lot of the uh, format of it too. Take a screenshot. A literal screenshot. YOLO. Do it. Alright. So now what I need to do is kinda iron out the format of the town because I do for sure want to have like maybe two lines of trees growing up here and then have it cut in again and up we go Now I need to make sure there's enough room here for maybe two trees. That seems good. Cool. Just enough room. Then these will cause a slight misalignment, but it'll be worth. All right. So yeah, keep that screenshot, and then we'll we'll do it before and after. So this is gonna go down and around, and bring it around town. Technique. Technique. Squidward technique. Okay, and this will be like where the stairs are. Let's actually. Put our stairs in. Like there, I think. Cool. And then we get another corner. Hmm. So this part's gonna be a little interesting. I think I can do it though. The one downside, like the one the one 
pro or the, the the biggest pro that I come back to is these tiles look so much better. The downside is when it comes to working with the spacing on them, I'm still kind of I'm still learning. I still got to get used to it. These could be lowered actually a little bit. It looks like. Huh. The cliffs in particular have very wide corners that I have to get accustomed to, but I think I got it. Sweet. All right. So now the way our trees work, this should work out nicely, I believe. Or will it? Hmm. I guess it's fine to have like a couple slightly misaligned trees. Maybe not even misaligned. Okay, these are good. These ones need to be like one raised. No, never mind, these are aligned. These are aligned. It all works. It's perfect. It just works. What do they say? Isn't that like a like an Apple thing? The new iPhone just works. Oh shit, did I mess something up? Okay, so these ones don't just work, unfortunately. They don't just work. Okay, and then I have like an entrance to the forest up here. I could have like an actual like small open area now up here. I also need to make sure that these are aligned. This is a good way to test it. Ding, they are. Cool. It just works! Wait, are they? Wait, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. That just works. This just works. Cool. And it kind of goes up, up and over. Now, as for the format of this area, maybe I could do like a little path up. Something like that. Where it's kind of like asymmetrical steps. Goes up. Kind of like the look of that too. Okay, this one's a little misaligned. Simple fix. Let me change the song too. As much as I love that song for like chill mapping, I think I need something like this right now. All right. I can almost guarantee I made a small mistake with the trees somewhere. So I'm not looking forward to uh, having to fix that shit. Oh shit, no. Okay, cool. Damn it, I keep doing that. I love this song so much. Alright. Desperator. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Cam Slam. How's the game coming along? It's coming along alright. I'm having to do a lot of mapping, but we've got a lot of great ideas in the books. I've been keeping track of a lot of ideas and stuff. Um, you know, we've got ideas for uh, teams. Maybe not as much ideas for plot and stuff. But yeah, a whole lot of exciting stuff. Is in the is in the works, so that's cool. This town is going to start looking pretty good pretty soon. I'm actually at the breaking point right now, and in a good way, where everything's about to start looking more and more legit. Um, let's see. As much as I love this beach, what I can do actually is start getting the inside going. Yeah, we're at the point now where everything is about to it all. It's about to all start clicking.
And before you know it, this town will be amazing. Before you know it. Before I know it. Like, if I press F4 right now, the town will already look way better. See, we're, we're getting there. Life for me? Oh, yeah. I stream uh, in the uh, Pacific Standard Time Zone, uh, California. So, yeah, for a lot of people, it's actually, like, super late. I want to stream earlier on the weekends, though. If I do a weekend stream this weekend, it'll definitely be earlier in the day. Because I start at, like, 8 p.m. my time. So maybe if I uh, start at like, I don't know, 2 or 3 p.m. my time, that might, that might work out better. Okay, I guess I'll leave that tiling mistake for now, just because I've got a good drag going. Feel good drag. Anne Berlin, anybody? All right. Trust me, right now, like when I said we were on the breaking point, I meant it. This is about to start looking super legit super soon. We're we're nearing the uh the blockout stage is almost complete. All right, do a little bit of drag over huh? Look at that. Hey, sociopathic, what's up? What's going on? How you doing, man? How have you been? Dude, sociopathic, guess what? I got a PS4, and I was doing some Final Fantasy XV streams, and I was like, okay, what game do I need to get next? Bloodborne. I'm getting Bloodborne super soon. I want to stream it. I want to do all the souls in Bloodborne again. I mean, not again. I've never played Bloodborne. For plot, okay. Ultima Hurricane. So, actually, Dr. Skull, I do have a general layout for the evil teams that I want to use. That would be interesting, but I do have an idea. Face War 2. Hey, nice, dude. We Didn't we? Were we the ones that said we were the same person? So, or was that someone else? Yeah, PS4. Espus, welcome back. How you doing? Watch for a Friday. Okay. Morning. Oh, and then I gotta go. Oh, dude. Happy birthday early in advance, man. Books each. Dude, that's amazing. That's a great deal. Was that Black Friday or uh, Cyber Monday or something? Yeah, dude. I got my PS4 for... for um. I bought it on Black Friday. That's weird. I, I almost said I almost said I got it for Black Friday, as if Black Friday was like a holiday and I received it, which is really weird. Could you imagine if somebody received a gift for Black Friday? Happy Black Friday! Here's your cheap video games. I wouldn't turn it down. I'd be like, sweet, thanks for the video games. But I'd also be like, what? This is holiday. Black Friday Walmart? Dude, same. I got mine Black Friday Walmart because it came with the uh, the $30 gift card. Okay, I think we are the same person. Hello, welcome back, Steve. What's going on? WB. Yeah. See, I think I can just get away with doing this. Oh shoot, no. This. If it looks decent. It does. It does look decent. I was actually expecting it to look kinda terrible, but it does not. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Maybe we are right. We got the same games at the same place. I bet we shop at the same store. Mega 64. Okay, that goes like that. That goes like that. And then that goes like that. Okay. I'm figuring out how to do these like shallow curves. Oh, wait, I gotta do something like that. Cool, there we go. 
Street Fighter 5 for 20. Okay. I didn't get Street Fighter, so maybe we're not the same person. <laughs> Overwatch. Oh yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? I think Overwatch is pretty fun. I used to have a ton of fun playing it, but then, uh, similar to League of Legends, they started to kind of like esportsify everything, so now everyone takes the game super seriously. It's like, I feel bad because I, I, I go on the subreddit sometimes and like look at posts and like I see someone's like, oh, I totally just own this guy. Like somebody's not paying attention and then they die and then that turns into like a 5,000 upvoted post. And I feel bad because like, what if I don't want to try hard in a video game? What if somebody's recording me not trying hard in a video game and then it gets posted on the internet? I don't know, it's like a stupid thing to think about, but... I just want to play for fun, man. And now since everything's being esportsified, it's harder to play for fun. Too serious. Yeah, it feels like it's too serious. Ranked to try? Okay, yeah. I'd say if you play ranked, when I played ranked in Overwatch, what I did was only play Lucio. It was fun. Lucio's, Lucio's my jam. Okay, copy. I think it's good to just do that. Maybe this will look a little weird. Nah, I think it works out. Cool. The island is coming along great. Plat? Ooh, sick. That's pretty good. I was almost diamond, and then I stopped. Hey, Dynamite, welcome back. What's going on? How have you been? Pokemon. Let's see. I guess sure. I'm down to look at I'm down to look at sprites. Yeah, this is coming along like I told you I was at the breakthrough point. We're getting to a point now where this is starting to look pretty darn legitimate. Pretty darn legit, if I must say it. Let's see though. Ba, ba, ba. So this can't be a good top layer. It's gotta be something like Something like that. Then the top needs to look like that. So that way I can paste the empty top on top. Like that. So empty top, empty top, empty top. I'm gonna have to retile the cliffs. But that's no biggie. Let's see what do I got here. Empty top, empty top, empty top. There you go. Tops of trees are are great. All right. I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you next stream. All right. I'll see you, Desperator. Oh wait. Am I gonna release this game the way I did last time? I would like to. Yeah. I think there'll be a certain point where I release a demo, and then I work post demo. But I definitely want to release it. Show you from the Pokemon made. Can I post a link? Yeah. Let me permit you, Dynamite. Oh no, I permitted Slashered because my bad. Let me uh, permit you. I was thinking I was thinking of Slashered because you wrote it. <laughs> I'm not thinking. That's so easy. Oh dude, Junkrat's fun, but like It's super fun when you hit a lot of shots. But it also feels like you miss a lot. Oh. It says I do not have access. Oh, because you did like slash edit. Maybe uh, let me uh, let me uh. God damn it! Fucking Windows 10. Shit! It's like impossible to drag to another window in Windows 10. If I remove the slash edit at the end, can I view it? No, nah, I need permission. Have a link to your Twitter. Um, it should be in the channel description. So scroll down. It should be there. Uh, I'm also just Xcamero on Twitter, so if you just go on Twitter and search Xcamero, you should get it. Let's see, I need to... Yeah, so I'm just Xcamero with a zero. Let's see, Gen 4 and try an island full of trees. Oh yeah, it kind of does, right? Man, I, I like the look of this island so far too. Just close them, feels good, man. Okay. 
how do I accept? What you need to do is make it... You have to go to the permissions of your Google Doc and make it so a anyone can view. Because right now it is not that. Like, uh, on mine... Share... Blah, blah, blah... And then you have to make it so anyone with the link can view. You don't want to do anyone with the link can edit, because then people will be going and messing with your stuff. Yeah, Junkrat is a lot of fun though. It feels Junkrat feels super rewarding when you land shots. Sometimes I feel like I'm just spamming with him. But then when you land shots, like three in a row on somebody, it, it feels good. Like you like chain them in a row. Just 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 blowing things up feels good as Junkrat. I wanna kill them all. Let's see, so I need this. Then I need some of this, some of this, some of this. Ooh, hey, hey, did I get it? You know, oh, yeah, let me check. Uh, not yet. Damn, I really need to, like, normalize it, because I've got ha some people sending me emails, some people sending me Twitter, some people sending me, uh, Google Docs. I need to, I need to, like, start getting stricter. But I have not got it yet. The email. Okay, let me go and... This will be a good starting point, I think. I just go to the first layer. Go to the same points. I could probably just put all this grass on the first layer for the inside. It doesn't need to be all water down here. Let me start working on some of that. Some of that. So my first layer will be nice. There we go. So I think that's covered up all the holes at least, but I want to fill in more grass. Let's cover that over. Get all the grass going in here. Alright, that's a decent amount of grass. What's going on, chat? This whole set aesthetic. Oh yeah, shoot, I gotta re-permit you. Excuse the character. Yeah, his his kit I mean like his his personality, or like the fact that he is so animated and alive for Junkrat is actually like a really big uh, draw to the character as well, I think. Like, he's very... I don't know, like... If you were going to show somebody Overwatch and you're going to show them like some of the unique personalities, he's a very, very good unique personality to show people. Junkrat. Like his whole, yeah, his whole aesthetic. He's got the vibes. So over Twitter? Okay, let me check it out. Let me see, huh? Let me see what your best move is, huh? My phone. Holy moly! Oh wow! I feel like I like the concept of pumpkin, but I feel like this one being on like he's like a human almost. Hmm. Let's see. The fire in the eye is cool. That's that's actually really cool having the fire in the eye. But I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to make like a humanoid one that's like standing there. You can change it. Okay. I'll definitely probably borrow the fire in the eye concept. I, I like that. Animated. Yeah, yeah. Some crazy dude with a grenade launcher. Yeah, he definitely feels just like a grenade. Oh, let me pay, check out this post by Dynamite. Definitely seems like just a crazy dude. Rock fighting. Okay. Hmm. It seems right now, like, um, Dynamite, it seems right now, like, you're more focused on what it learns and, like, the stats of the Pokemon. Or maybe not the stats, but, like, right now, honestly, I don't really care about abilities and moves. Um, I care more about design and then abilities and moves can come later. Because just writing the name and saying his type and stuff, I don't know. It doesn't do it for me. Ba, 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 ba. 
background. Yeah, I might want to do like almost like a since he's gonna be like it's, if he's ghost grass now. I kind of want to kind of want him to almost be like hovering potentially. Let me do this. All right, this island is coming along. It is coming along. Oh, the next thing I'm gonna have to do is probably a Pokemon Center. That's gonna be not fun. Because I haven't really gotten used to the uh, Pokemon Center tiles. Or the indoor tile set for Pokemon Centers, that is. Let me check. But yeah, to answer your question, you do need internet to send things over the internet. <laughs> um, I have not got the email yet. I might have to make yellow variations of the bushes. That might be interesting. Yeah, how are you watching this on the internet? Magic. It's like, how are you watching this without internet? X Files theme plays. Alright, so this is will be where one of the homes goes. Another home shall go over here. Kinda, maybe like over here? Maybe up like this? I think up like that's good. And the Pokemon Center will be like in the center of the island. There's a bucket form. In a bucket. Charlie bucket. Alrighty, time to copy these and go to layer two. All right, now for a little bit more copying. Cool. Pokemon Center time. So, in my opinion, these Pokemon Centers are way too fucking huge. Why has it gotta be like a, an amazingly giant building? Like, what the hell? I want to find a tile set that's got a smaller Pokemon Center, because that is just... Why? Noncod, what's up? Welcome back. How you doing? Halloween bucket. Hmm. Ghost Steel? Okay. I don't want it to change types, though. I want it to just be Ghost Grass. Maybe... Did I download a tile set that had potentially a better looking Pokemon Center? I had interesting looking buildings. Did this one have? I believe this one had just like a gig. This one is the one that has the gigantic Pokemon Center. That's so much. That's so huge. Black white sprites. Oh, I did. Yeah, it's crazy. It's tough to uh, work in a new tile set after being so used to an another old tile set. And you should be sleeping. Oh man, hungry and tired. I know that life. The hungry and tired life. Where? I thought I had another tile set that had a... Well, I do have another tile set. I actually have it installed, I think, in this game. I was experimenting with black and white tile sets earlier. Let me take a look. Look at that. Yeah, here it is. B slash W outside. It uses... Oh, never mind. This is this is just 100% busted. Fudge, dude. Okay, let me uh see if I can steal something from it though. Open BW outside. Can't open it. Oh man, I remember that. It was like it actually got corrupted because it was too large of a file, which is completely stupid. Hmm. Damn it. More spoopy. Yeah, on the ground, more spoopy. Well, I, I want him to be like hovering almost. I want him in to be 
a floating little thing with a pumpkin head as a ghost. He could almost look like Shuppet. I'd like Shuppet to be the uh, inspiration. <laughs> Wait, no food if you don't finish your homework? That's brutal. That's like, that's like actually insane. Um, yeah, this building is just too much. Maybe I could go into my own tile set and just modify it to make this building not so obnoxious. Because this building is just obnoxious right now, if you're asking me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's... Let's edit our own Pokemon Center to make it not so goddamn obnoxious. First off, let's merge all these layers. Rasterize the layer style. Merge the layers. Save it. I think what I want to do is just remove the second story. So what I could do, really, is select the first story. Just kind of drag it down. Actually, no. What I need to do is post this on its own new layer. For safety's sake. There you go. It being on its own new layer allows me... It affords me so much more uh, leeway. Cool. This is actually going to be super easy to do now. Will I still be streaming in an hour? Yes! I still have like three more hours left of this stream. Then it'll all be chill, hopefully. Just a chill... chill time. Chill zone. Yeah, that's the plan. It's it being two stories is Nah, I don't need that. I don't I don't need a two story. So it seems like what I'll want to do is have it be like Let me see if I can get it aligned. Okay, there is still one problem in that this arch now. So let me uh Pure strum. Yeah, three hours. Nothing but strum. Okay, copy this. Paste this. And this will be on the layer above. Is it aligned? I hope it is. Yeah, it is. Cool. Then this can just kind of go down. Sick. And then this, I got to erase some stuff from. There we go. So that way the arch appears on top. Alright, cool. Now this is already a lot less obnoxious. What I can do now is really just... <laughs> I can really just... Cool. And there we have it. A less obnoxious Pokemon Center. It's still decently obnoxious. But it actually... I kind of like it... No. It's passable. I could, I could work with this. This is workable. It works. Cool. So now we can go into our town. Refresh the tile set. And now our Pokemon Center doesn't look like a giant... I mean, it's still pretty big, don't get me wrong. The bus? Okay. Oh man, you're watching this on the bus? That's some commitment, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that commitment. This is good. Yeah, this is... This is... This is... This Pokemon Center, I can get behind. Like, this is... We can work with this. This is good. And what I think I'm going to do also is do the uh, sun and moon approach. Why do you want copy strike? Copy strike? Because I want it. I don't know what I'm doing to ask for it, but I want it. Is it the music? The music is not going to copyright strike me. And I know that because I've done like five other streams with this music already. <laughs> and they haven't been copyright striked. For sure. 
Definitely keep them coming. Make a fan game. Oh! Well, only really popular fan games. Seems legit. Seems legit. No! Because I can ask Persona 5. Dude, Persona 5? Yeah, AM2R and Pokemon Uranium, those ones those ones were popular. Mine's not gonna be popular. If mine does become popular and is taken down, then I'll actually see that as a sign of me making it. It's like I produced something that was high enough quality to scare the official po official Pokemon company. I guess I kinda do want to get taken down. So I, I want to be taken down because that means I'm popular. If that makes sense. Come at me, Nintendo. <laughs> I'm going to regret that. Oh, yeah. Persona 5. When does that come out in English? Because I think it's already out in Japanese. Next couple months. I think... Uh, does the Persona 5, like, collector's edition... I think that comes with all the other Persona games on PS4. I believe that's what the case is. Persona 5, yeah. King Hearts 3 and 2.8. All of them. Oh, man. It's going to be so good. It's going to be great. It's all dubs. They do. I agree. So if it gets popular and it wasn't taken down. That's the dream. Okay, cool. Yeah. Get those creative juices flowing. If it does buy it. Yeah. I think it did. Let me look that up real quick. I believe it did. I know. Do I know Xerxes Tree? I do not. Let's see. Collector's Edition. Let's see. What is it? I think this it's the twentieth anniversary pack. Oh man, it's expensive. Yeah, the Persona 5 20th anniversary pack comes with all the other Persona games and it's like 250 bucks. That's crazy. But it comes with all the other Persona games, like Persona 4 and Persona 3 in like PS4 HD, I think. Or maybe it's something else. I think it's this though. Yeah, it's definitely this. I just want to get all the games. <laughs> I do not. I have not played the post game yet for Sun and Moon. Anime Cat. Oh, look at that! See, that one's pretty good, Anime Cat. Like a little flying pumpkin. The little little spook inside. It's a little cutie. Huh, what do I want to do for the last building of this place? Do I just make another building like this? Do I make a big building? What do I do? Try specifically? Let's see. Concepts to try specifically. Let me take a look at my uh, Pokemon title Pokedex again. Hmm. Um, hmm. How about a water flying Pokemon? This one's, I called it Aquabat, it doesn't have to be a bat, but um, essentially the concept of it is it's Water Zubat, where it's something that you run into all the time, water flying. I mean, uh, it would essentially be kind of like Wingle in a way, but it doesn't have to necessarily be a seagull. A little flying pumpkin. Kappa. One, two, and two and a half. Wait, they did Personas. There's a Persona two and a half? I believe it comes with that also. I believe. That is my belief. Uh... 
Damn it. There we go. Let's go up to the next house. Is it the wrong? Yeah, it's the wrong. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, man. All right. Back on track. Cool. What's my least favorite Gen 7 Pokemon? I don't know. I haven't seen them all. I actually don't like talking about Gen 7 Pokemon because some of them I still don't know. I'm currently untainted, and I would like to remain, remain that way. I think of the ones I've seen, my least favorite design-wise, I don't know. So far, all of the ones that I've seen, I really like. Flying fish, cloud jellyfish. They could do that, but I kind of already have an idea for a jellyfish one. That's like the uh, an electric jellyfish. That would be kind of cool though, but I don't know if I don't know if I want to do jelly. I like a maybe a cloud would be cool, maybe like a little cloud thing somehow. Like, it's water and flying because you know clouds are actually you know balls of water. So so maybe just a cloud Pokemon would be cool. Pokemon contest for common flying types. I mean I don't need to see it, but I mean I could permit you. I appreciate the uh, the resource gathering, but let me read this message though. With P2, there are two games where they're both connected, and we got Eternal Punishment for PS1 and the other one for PSP. Wait, so there are two games that are connected, but interesting. It broke. What broke? What is it? Cloud Pokemon. There was a Gen 3 Pokemon, but it was a bird in a cloud. It was Swablu. It wasn't just a straight up cloud Pokemon. I don't think there's any Pokemon that are just straight up clouds. There's there's Cast Form. I guess. But Cast Form's super forgettable. <laughs> Shows how forgettable forgettable he is when my first thought for Cloud Pokemon doesn't even jump to Cast Form. Persona really starts at 3. Okay. I've I've played some of Persona 3, but I haven't beat it. I think I only played, like, the first, like, quarter of the game. But I really liked it. I just stopped streaming it because it was... It was a stream that drew, like, zero viewers, so I was sitting there talking to myself. Flying fish? I don't know. I have a lot of fishes. That's a cloud. <laughs> Dude, cast form is just a just a just a, a flying pair of test testicles. Stormbird. Huh? Where? Oh yeah, I need to have this go up also. I'd say so far this town's coming along pretty nicely. We are making progress, ladies and gents. So this should go up maybe here. No, it should go up here. This will be where the cut up is for that. And then this will cut up here. And then be another wide path. I believe it's four. Yeah, it's four again. These need to be on the first layer. And then for the second layer, I can really actually just... 
I kind of just want to delete them, but it, there's so much going on, it's hard for me to find an empty tile to delete. Cool. It's a path. Where's the max? I don't know. I think he's busy. He's been doing a lot of uh, finals and stuff, I believe. He had to like work on a lot of projects. Very stressful stuff. Four systems are way more refined. Okay. Better than four as far as characters go. I was liking, what was his name? There's one character. I liked Persona 4 and I liked Persona 3. I don't know which one I liked better in the short time I played them both. I liked, what's her name, Chie in 4. I also liked, what's his name? The one who's like your first best friend in 4, who's like the comedy relief guy almost. He's voiced by uh, Sasuke. Uh, what's the name of the voice actor? I always forget. He's in a lot of shit. Hotel Storm Petrol. Marine Birds. Okay. I want to make a cloud though. I want to have a cute little cloud. I want to. I want to rip off Nebby. Mr. Pone Watch, what's up? Yo. You. What's up, man? Mr. Pone Watch. How you doing, man? Head to bed. All right. Good night, Doctor School. Thanks for swinging by. Chie was best girl, dude. I, I liked Chie. Plus, she was, like, tough, and she wore that cool green sweater and had a skirt. I don't know. Everything about Chie's design. I think if maybe if Chie had longer hair, then she might be, uh, the, the perfect waifu of the game. Better supporting cast. Yeah, I like the I like the look of the main character a little more in um, 3 as well. Better social links. 3, I was, I played 3 more than 4, I, I would say. Okay, this needs to be like this. Na, 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 na. Cool, now I just need to decide what this building here is gonna be. Cause originally this was gonna be a gym. But I don't really have any gym buildings. Am I streaming tomorrow? I am. I will be streaming tomorrow as well. As well. Oh yeah, let me pinch you again, boy. Oh yeah, Mr. Ponin Watch. You came by when I was streaming Smash, right? Um, have you seen the uh, the news on the uh, Smash Bros subreddit today about what people are talking about for the uh, Switch? Supposedly, supposedly there's some real intense conversations going on when it comes to a uh, Bird Cloud possible. See, Bird Cloud would be cool, but also Swablu is the Bird Cloud. If there was another way to do a Cloud Bird, that might be cool. But I kind of just want to do a literal cloud. I think that'd be funny. It could be turned into a storm cloud also, where it could learn it could learn some electric moves, or maybe ha maybe even have an ability that boosts electric attacks while being water flying. Storm cloud. I want to make a I want to make a cloud, and then it can uh, it can use Omni Slash. That'd be a pretty good cloud, and it's blonde and carries a big sword. That'd be a good cloud. What am I gonna do for my freaking gym? What am I gonna freaking do? Let's look at the tile sets and find out. Cause I believe there's some buildings that this uses that I am not using. I'm definitely, wait, that's a shorter. Is that different than the one that I use? Is mine sharper? This looks different somehow. Oh, this is absolutely different. It's nice. I'm currently not using it. And then see something like cast form. That's the thing. I would much rather be closer. I would much rather be similar to cast form than similar to Swablu. Because nobody gives a shit about cast form as well as cast form is like a little guy protruding out of a cloud. I'm talking about the like the fucking Like, cast form is not a cloud. I thought he was resting on a cloud. No, he's just he's just a little guy with boobs. I'm talking about oh god. Don't look at don't don't Google search cast form, you guys. I'm talking about a literal cloud. I'm talking like I'm talking like Randall from Yoshi's Island. Ta-da. It's 
Hold on. Oh, right. Dude, God, don't Google cast form, you guys. Don't Google it. Also, you know, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? Jim, Jim, that is rock. So, no. I already have planned out uh, ideas for the gyms, as well as please don't uh, tell me what to do. Saying stuff like straight up make this, I don't appreciate. Um, I do have an idea though. Um, one of the main evil teams is going to use a lot of uh, is going to use a lot of uh, rocks. Randall back at it again. Electric fly. So that's the thing. Kingdom of Kringleberry. Electric flying is really cool. And we already have a really cool electric flying, unfortunately. Um, we're in a really interesting position where there already is a really cool electric flying. Made some little clouds. Ooh, let me check them out. Follow. <laughs> wow, wow. Mr. Ponin Watch. Please. <laughs> I love cute little clouds. I like this little crying one. Okay, here's an interesting concept. A cloud that gets more sad when it evolves. So it's it's the, the, the raindrops are its tears. So it's this little sad one, but then it gets super sad when it evolves. Feels cloud, man. Cast form. Oh, God. Yeah, see, I told you. Don't Google cast form, you guys. There's a water parrot. I would like to make a parrot. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about it, Steve. Live and learn, right? You good, you good. You cool, you cool, you good. Great concept, right? Yeah, like a cloud that starts off, maybe it starts off happy, but then it then it gets sad. It could get angry. What if it starts off sad and the raindrops are its tears, but then it gets angry and it's like a, definitely like an emotion cloud. Let me get rid of a water Zubat here. And right. Cloud. Sadder cloud. And I think he's got to be flying water, not water flying. I don't know, something about the order kind of matters here. And these should be common. Angry lightning. So when he evolves, he gets angry and he's got like lightning maybe. So he turns into a storm cloud. So he starts off as a little sad cloud. And then he becomes an... Angry storm cloud. <laughs> Let me see. Let me write this down so that I can remember where to find them. Cool. It's angry in the acid rain. So, would angry. Angry storm cloud still needs to be flying, though because I have a lot of electric types. There's already a water electric jellyfish right above it. So if he stays flying water, he's like a little sad, little sad cloud. And then he becomes angry. I like that. Nah, nah. What was I doing? I was thinking of a building. That's what I was doing. And then I got swept up in the creative energy of the cloud. A moose. So I do have some grass Pokemon I'm going to do, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a moose. Because <laughs> mooses... Or m moose... My, m mooses... They are uh, typically, like, kind of found in colder environments, right? And right now, a lot of the areas in this game are really uh, warm, hot, tropical. Look, I got roads. Oh, whoa, you can make elevated roads? That's snazzy. Mies. <laughs> Maasai. Do I want to build a cloud man? Do I? No. <laughs> man, I don't know what a good building is for the... Uh, maybe I could borrow something from this. Grass parrot, maybe. That could be interesting. 
I want to make a parrot Pokemon that is... I want to say dark, but I also kind of don't. I don't want to do water. So here's the thing. It's, it's interesting that you bring up parrot because I do want to have one of the evil teams be pirates. And I think it would make a lot of sense for them to have a lot of this parrot on their team. And the typings, the typings for the evil team, the, the pirate team, are water, dark, steel, fighting, and flying. Should it be flying steel? I don't want to do flying dark. I mean, I could do flying dark. But the, the idea is, this is a parrot that a lot of them have. And this is a very piratey parrot. I think flying dark might work. If he's flying dark and has like a dark, like a parrot with an eye patch. Eye patch parrot, patch it. What do we got here? Do I got a comment? Uh oh. Ghost parrot, if I'm a dead parrot. I don't know if I want to do dead though. So these guys are all going to be very much alive. Light puff or storm pout. Oh, storm pout's a good name for that. Or storm pout. Hmm. I like pout. Yeah. A little puffy, and then he gets gets angry and becomes a uh, storm. It's dark steel. And it's mad that it can't fly. Oh, a dark steel parrot that's got. <gasps> it could have a peg leg. I'm gonna stream Pokemon fake game. Uh, because there is no option to stream RPG Maker. Plus, I feel like it reaches a larger audience, Steve. Um, so I feel like saying Sun and Moon is, I guess, better for my stream. It's kind of dishonest of me, but I don't think anybody's actively going out and searching RPG Maker streams or uh, creative streams. I think the reason a lot of people found this is because of that. Could they just have a Talon for a parrot? They could also, but I want to make one that's also a specific parrot. They could have a Talon. But I want them to have their own, like, pirate bird. Because, like, a lot of evil teams have Pokemon that are, like, very common common amongst them. And it'd be cool to have a, a parrot. Specifically for the, th the theming of a pirate as well. Because Paraplux's not a parrot. And, and Talon's not a parrot either. I don't know what fucking building to use, dude. I'll just use this one for now. This huge ass building that's gonna cut into like all the trees. Should I put it like here? Here? I think here. Cool. Now, a lot of these trees need to now be thrown on the, uh... Ooh! Chill music. Swordfish. Kraken. Yeah, dude. I, I... Sociopathic? I'm glad you brought that up, because... We... We now return to the idea of becoming the same person. You did... Oh, did I mute? I hope not. But yeah, we have now returned to the idea of us being the same person again. And that idea is because I have already written down ideas for Pokemon that I want to put. And one of them is a swordfish. And down at the bottom towards legendaries, I did write down I want to have a Kraken. I wrote down release the Kraken. Hopefully I'm not muted though. You guys can hear me, right? I'm here. ASDF, what's up? My man, how you doing? And Hingo and Kringberg, I just saw your message, yeah, the, the musical parrots. Oh man. They gotta have a parrot. What's going on though, ASTF? How you been? How you been, man? Oh my god, it's so good! So, hmm. I really like it, Anime Cat, but I feel like we have to ditch the lightning because I don't want him to be electric type. I really like the I really like the concept of him like like puffing up 
and the the mouth i love the mouth and i love the the concept i think we have to ditch the lightning stuff though because he's probably not going to be electric when he evolves so asdf we've been shooting around a bunch of ideas finals are coming though oh dude rip good luck have fun give him a mantis shrimp give him a shrimp for their pokemon i want to make a cloud we could do a puffer fish. There are so many ideas. I might have to expand the uh, the list of Pokemon that we want to add. Okay, yeah, I know it's it's sad because I really like it, but we might have to ditch the electric. He could have two smaller clouds. He could be a big central cloud and have like two smaller clouds. So he could be like dark and gray, and they could be like lighter on the side, maybe, like maybe not in the center, but like lower. Maybe. But I love it. I love the angle, too. Like, he's kind of, like, going up. Look at all these Pokemon. Look at all of my SDF. Look at all of these. So we've got a lot of ideas for concepts for Pokemon. We've been writing down, like, fire waters and bug ices and stuff. A lot of good stuff. Um, I've also been updating the uh, title document, or title doc, a lot, ASDF. So, um... Let's see. Yeah, I uh, I definitely want to add in one of yours, the uh, the Rock Fairy. I've still got that in there for the arts. We've been working on potentially adding a Gel Watt as well for the electric jellyfish. It's coming along, man. Also, ASDF, you haven't been here to one of these in a little in a, in a little bit, so let me show you some of the tile set changes that have been made. They might blow your mind. They might not, but uh, take a look, baby. Look at that shit. Look at it. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. It's so good. I don't write them graphics. All right, I'll show you off. I'll show off some more graphics. Look at them graphics. Grass ghost, flying, riding plant bird. So grass ghost right now is probably going to be taken by the. Uh... Oh, look at this. Look at them graphics. Look at them graphics. This is all thanks to Elite Battle System. It's so good. Not the tile set, but all the battle animations and intros. That is all thanks to Elite Battle. Look at the graphics. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so good. Shoutouts again to Luca SJ and Elite Battle uh, System for the bomb ass. Pimp ass, dope ass animations. They look amazing. There's nothing ass about them. They are just straight up amazing. Let me um brush up my tile set a little bit. There is a couple pixels that are bothering me for my current tile sets. So if I could fix that real quick, and it should be a quick fix. But yeah, ASDF. So we've been uh we've been uh just brainstorming a lot here. What back design slash All right, more designs. We've been shooting around a lot of ideas though. Uh, just brainstorming a whole bunch. It's been pretty chill. Okay, so those pixels will be good. I can really just copy the format over here. Save, this. I mean, I could also just delete these pixels. We'll see how it looks with them as green though. Katsuna, hey, welcome back. What's going on? How you doing, Katsuna? Oh, I still need to update the forest too. That'll be a lot easier though. Pokemon, so I object Pokemon. That's good though. We, we're, we're wanting to make, like, clouds Pokemon and stuff. So, ASDF, if you ever need, like, um, inspiration for uh, designs, what you want to do for drawing and stuff, how they not break down? I got no idea. There was an interview with, um, what's his name? Masuda? Junichi Masuda? 
um, about Gen 7 Pokemon designs, and they were like, are you scraping the bottom of the barrel yet? Like, are you running out of ideas? And he was like, nah. I think we're, I think we're good for ideas for a long time. We can always draw from, like, uh, you know, real-life creatures, and, uh, based on the regions that we set the games. But it seems like it's very easy to break down <laughs> after a while. Yeah, Voltorb, Klefki. Oh, dude, Voltorb. Don't get me started on Voltorb. Also, welcome, Gensu Sekai. Welcome back, man. Voltorb. Did I went on a Voltorb rant once before, right? Because, like, it's hilarious that people are like, God, Gen 5 is shit, Pokemon. Ice cream and trash is garbage. I liked it better when um, Gen 1 had Pokemon. Like, a Pokeball and eggs and a stereotypical depiction of an African-American woman. Thanks, Pokemon. Who for plunder battlers? Nice. Yeah, get them all piratey. Oh, super pirates. Hard to draw. Design. All right, sounds good. I did. Okay, I did. <laughs> Man, because as much as I love Generation One, and I love Generation One, as much as I love Generation Two, I love Generation Two. Mightson, what's up, man? Yeah, Nicki Minajimon. Um, you have to you have to note that there are some flaws. No game is without flaw. Just know that there is no game that is perfect. Some people try to say this game's perfect, that game's perfect. Don't hold them up on a pedestal. Don't believe that they are above criticism. Hmm. I could make this a more interesting entrance, I think. Because I don't like this straight line here. Try it again? Okay, let me take a look. Like the dark psychic Pokemon? That could be cool. So, ASDF, um... Oh, look at him. I like that one. He's like a big dark one and he's angry and he's got two little ones. But the little ones are sad and angry at the same time. I like that. So there's one that's sad, and it's just sad. Then it evolves, and then it gets like... He's big, and he's drawn two little sad, angry ones to him. Yeah, I love the simplicity of the faces. That's what really gets me with these designs. Elegance and simplicity. You know, just cute eyes, I like it. Little tears, I like it. You know, angry face, I like it. I like a lot of the eyes and a lot of the faces. Um, but yeah, ASDF, well, what I was saying was, uh, I've got the, the master documents. The chub. I know, right? They're so chub. I love the little... Oh, I just want to squeeze the little cheeks. Um, there's some Pokemon... Did I do water poison? Oh, yeah, for that enemy. Oh, yeah, we got the concept for that. And then there's a seaweed that I wrote down. Did I write that down? I did. Yeah, here it is. Um... Yeah, there's some Pokemon that um, I haven't gotten uh, any concept art for yet. It's like, like a very basic fish that evolves into another basic fish that evolves into a swordfish. Like, there are some designs that I know I want, and then there are some designs that I haven't seen that I want. Like, there's some that I don't even know I want. Like, I know I want some Pokemon that are rocks in the cave, but other than that, I don't know what. Like, rock. What type of rock? What? You know. But yeah, the little chubby cheeks of the cloud. It's a cutie. Cutie patootie, I'll tell you what. Okay, I can really, since it's the first layer already did it, I can really just check it out. I can delete this. Oh no! That's an easy fix. I almost said Control Z. That would have been bad. It would have undone all my changes. Fish with the Starbucks. Hmm. Why not crystals? We could do crystals. We do have one Pokemon that has some crystals growing out of him, and it's like rock candy. I like it. He's like a rock fairy uh, coughing in a way. It's a cutie. What have I done? What did I do there? Could be encased in another rock. It could, yeah. If we get if we get a compelling enough design, then uh, 
I, it, it might just go in the game. Should we get a decent looking rock? Because I do need some rocks for caves. But yeah, I think a crystal would be kind of cool. Put a pearl in there. <laughs> Wait, like literal pearl from uh, Steven Universe? Put her in the caves. Lock her up. Okay. Na, 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 na. So this island's looking pretty decent. There's still a good chunk of things that need to be done. Like, I do want to put some trees here. What did I do for the tops of the trees again? Doesn't work. These need to be like one lower. Yeah, something like that. Where this is the roof of the house again. Damn it! I fudged it! Cool. How long am I streaming for? I'll probably be streaming for like another two hours from now. Do I want just plain rock type or? Hmm. I would say right now, yes. I want just a plain rock type, a little rock guy. He could evolve to rock ground, he could just be rock ground. But for right now, I want him to be a very standard rock. Maybe he could be rock. Hey, Dark Guy, welcome back. What's going on, my man? The Prevo. Name for his Prevo. Okay. Yeah, they just gotta be good, and then then they'll be in. Dark Guy, we got some good ideas for some Pokemon. Um, if you swing by my Twitter, you gotta make a Twitter, man. You gotta make a Twitter. Um, I can show you though. We've got an idea for a uh, a uh, flying water Pokemon that's very common. That is um, like a little sad cloud, and the tears. Rock water, rock lobster, <laughs> mostly sad sweet. I have shown him off. I'll show him off again though. But yeah, a little cloud. He's he's a sad cloud, and then when he evolves, he becomes a storm cloud. The storm cloud's not 100% decided yet, but I love the little eyes. I love the little face. I love the sad cloud. He's so sad. God, fucking Windows 10. I hate that. Dragging windows across multiple monitors is such a pain in the ass. In Windows 10. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let me show these off. Okay, I really like Salispice, or Salispicey. I kind of want to call him Salispice. It looks really nice. Only? There's male only. Okay. He might have to have his name changed from Bitter Lizard to something else. But... Okay. So this is nice. This one's pretty nice. Got the cane. It definitely kind of reminds me of Salazzle. I think one thing is the fact that it's got like a, a different color lower jaw. I feel like that's a very common theme now with a lot of the Pokemon, a very a different color lower jaw. Bitterzard, there. There you go, already. Yeah, that that is better. Hmm. Not bad though. This is definitely not bad. This is very good actually. I love this little one right here. Hmm. One thing though that now that I'm looking at it is this paw has a green outline and this one has a black outline. This back tail here has a uh, black outline and a green outline. Hmm. Seeing them both next to each other like that. Chinese. All right. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Do 
I like the I like the uh, the color scheme of this one. It's the lighting thing. Okay. Yeah, it might just be. It might look different when it's in the engine with a different background. Not bad. In fact, I would say it's very good. Let's make some more trees, please. Actually, no, they should be... Damn it. This barely cuts off the Pokemon Center. Oh, I could just be putting them on this layer. And then it'd be no big deal. Cool. Is it gel what? Yeah. Also, right now, we're just calling it gel watt, like J-E-L-W-A-T. I don't like the gel watt as much, and I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to show you why if you uh, are so inclined. I definitely agree with the email that you sent where it says it looks like it was... Uh, the first one looked like a constipated guy. Um, I think this is a little too long. Like, uh, the lines down here. I don't. I don't like him having teeth either. I love the attention to detail and the uh, the shading on the head. Hmm. Like, let me. Uh, here's my uh, great cloud concept. Let me go and look at the uh, the tweet and then kind of refine my best elements of it. It's cutie. I like the. Uh, I like the eyes a lot. I like the this lightning and I like this lightning. Um, it feels like there's a lot going on though. I'd like to kind of yeah, you did draw it based on the art. That's true. I think what we should do though is refine the uh, Dragon Ball game. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Only have RPG Maker 2006. Wait, RPG Maker XP is the one. That's the correct version. That's what I use. Actually, newer versions won't work. RPG Maker XP. That's what I got going on right here up in the top left. That's what I use, man. That's what it's all about. I'm an RPG Maker XP dude. But yeah, so let me look at the original art for Gel Watts and then kind of refine the concepts of it. And uh, let's see. Because I think what, Stompeto? This one's just like, this one doesn't need to be touched up at all. This one's like great. Gel Watt was like a rough. There are some things I'd like to keep and some things I'd like to remove. Like, I kind of want to remove the teeth. I kind of want to keep the eyes. Is it MX or something? Oh man, I wish. I actually bought RPG Maker MV, and uh, I've messed around with that a little bit. But um, the the Pokemon editing and all that stuff can only be done in a uh, in this version. RPG Maker XP, man. So we've got our jellyfish. He's definitely got the eyes. Maybe like little triangles. He's got like happy. Okay. So I'm going to refine the elements I like and the elements I don't like. I like Gengar's. How do Gengar's teeth look again? Oh, he's, he's got like a closed mouth. They would kind of. If he had like a smirk. Okay, so let's do a version with and without. But yeah, for his design, I like the three blobs. And for the electricity, I kind of want him to be simple. Because right now there's a lot going on. So maybe just like... Like, just those three, potentially. Like, none of the, the out stuff. Maybe when it evolves, it can get more complex. I don't know about doing a smirk. I'm terrible. Yeah, he's got the little... Right now, this is what he has. 
I want to like refine that a little. Games. Yeah, it's really hard to play them on a lot of things. Also, like get them in a lot of places, because a lot of people want to play them on the phone. Definitely no pupils. This guy does not want pupils. Okay. See, I don't know about the mouth. He could go with a smile. And head off. Next stream, hopefully. Alright, I'll see you, sociopathic. Thanks for swinging by, man. It was good to see you again. What if he was just like this? Don't want to do that, though. Should he be smiling? Should he be... Open? You know? Should he have, like, the Gengar grin? Where he's hot shit and he knows it, and he's like... Hey. Hey, you know? <laughs> the DreamWorks face. You know? But yeah. Elegance and simplicity. Because, like, this is a little bit too much now when you pepper in, like, lines that then drag other stuff. Alright. Holy shit. That's the one downside to Windows 10, man. Well, the one down, the one downside that's grading. It's very much a pain to uh, drag windows across monitors. There we go. Got a decent amount of trees going on. I can add some rocks. I'll see when you get back, Darkrai. All right, BRB. Let me uh, let me get these uh, these young jet skis. Let me scroll up my Twitter too. All right. I want to add a rock. I'll add another rock like back here. How many more rocks do I need in my town? Maybe one here? Maybe I could put a tree here then. No, I like the concept of a rock here. I think I just need like plants down here. Okay, rock type. Yeah, rocks are gonna be a little bit di more difficult for sure. Cause like they gotta be kind of like serious and like bulky almost. Cause you're like really good at drawing like really cute Pokemon, and sometimes rocks aren't very cute. What if a rocks? What if? What if we did do a cute rock though? Hmm. But it was like small and evolves to be big, just like all these other ones. Sent it. Okay, concept not sprite. Okay. I'll have to check this. Let me just do this real quick. Cool. Hold on the rock. We could. The thing is, dynamite. I don't want to. I eventually want to make a game where it's 100% our own new Pokemon, rather than grabbing old Pokemon. 
So it'd be nice to create our own. Because for placeholder, yeah, of course we can grab the old stuff. Why don't we make the starters, you know... It's... I think he's talking about something else, right? If you're talking about the starters for our game... I don't know. I'm confused now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what do we got in the way of flowers? Add a nice little garnish. Looking good. This is looking good. There's still more that I could do. But so far it's looking good. Maybe I could add a sign. You know? When you first enter the town. Welcome to blah 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 town. Ginzo town. This town is spooky. Ooh. It's not spooky. Look at the shirk. Alright, let me let me. Let me take a look at this darn shirk. Sharknado! Oh! Oh! Yes! Alongside Sharpedo like that? Oh wow, this is good stuff! I was like, how could- how good could it be? It's good, okay. So this is Shark- this is Sharpedo, Sharknado. This is our hammerhead shark. Very sleek. I like how putting him alongside a pre-existing shark kind of drives home the fact, like, his, his shark features as well. That's pretty cool. Hmm. What type would this guy be? Would he be water dark as well? Would he evolve? Is he the evolution? Back- welcome back, Steve. Because, um, you already sent me one shark, and I put that in the, uh, in the documentation. I can remove it if need be. But this guy right here. Should I remove this one? I mean, I guess this was made earlier, right? This was made in a time... was it? I don't know. I guess it's your call. I guess we don't really need a water electric, right? I can remove this other shark. Right? Okay, let me take a look. Sprite. Um, let me see. For my general feedback on your sprite, it definitely... Hmm. I guess my first problem is the uh, the formatting, where there's a, a lot of... Like, what you need to do is crop it so it prop, like focuses only on the Pokemon. If this... Let me zoom in on that. Yeah. Definitely a work in progress. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Wait, what, Dark Eye? What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. What to say about this one? There's a lot of stuff that confuses me about it. Like, he's holding, like, there's something on his right side. Is that pants? He's wearing pants, but it's just like there's, like, a pole that's, like, going through him? Hmm. He's got, like, a uh, kind of gear-looking head, almost. Steel, I'm guessing. Okay. Wait, I feel like that because I was doing RSC sprites at the time. Okay. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't want to. I don't have too many sharks. Bishop Thor, welcome. How you doing? What's going on, man? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Um, but yeah, Dark Cry for the uh, electric shark though. Should we remove it to make room for the other shark? Cause I like the design of the uh, hammerhead better. This one is. This one could actually be removed and be fine. Button. Okay. It's like a pin, a button. Okay, that's not bad. Nah, wait, nah to what? I don't know. Friggin' chat delay. You like them both? Okay. Because I personally don't like this water electric one. 
if we're being honest. And the reason I don't like it is because we already have uh, one water electric, which isn't a cardinal sin to have another water electric, but I feel like I would like the hammerhead better. If I had to choose between one or the other, which I might make the case, I would choose the hammerhead. If we're going to only have one shark. If we're going to only have one shark. It's blood. Oh. Why? Why is he bleeding? Because I think this electric shark here was like made before, right? Yeah, if we can only have one. Yeah, if we can only have one, I would go with Hammerhead over this guy. Because like this guy's on the chopping block then. All right, so we've got our town looking kind of nice. Now what I need to do is, does anything make sense? Um, yeah, some things do. Hammerhead, I guess. Okay, yeah, if the Hammerhead had a pre-evo, this could make it a very good Pokemon for the, uh, the pirates to have. The thing is though, what do we think the typing should be for Hammerhead? Because I don't think we have any water darks. We do have a shit ton of water, though. But then again, it's a shark, and it's in the water. So it's got to be water something. If it's going to be on one of the bad guys' teams, maybe it could be water dark. Because I, I, we don't we don't have any water darks in the uh, the fake mon decks yet. Water steel. Jet ski. Wait, he's a jet ski. Oh. I kind of like him better as just a shark. I don't want. I don't like envisioning people riding around, in, riding around on him like that. How are they gonna jet ski on him? step on his head oh it's his back I see the jet ski now they ride on his back they sit on it only the edges <laughs> I know I can be honest that is a very um what's the word I'm looking for question sometimes the thing is your intentions are all in the right place that looks amazing so far. Thank you, Espis. Like, can you, do you remember how it was at the very starting of the stream? I told you, take a snapshot. Take a screenshot. A mental snapshot. And now look at how far it's come. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, Steve, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Most of the time, no. I've gotten to the point, though, where I can kind of tell people's age by reading Twitch chat. And sometimes it's very uh, obvious what people's ages are. But there's really nothing they can do to... Uh, change that because I'll know I'll see I'll see through hmm. let's see I don't know what I want to do for these flowers great really thank you oh man I'm glad to hear that I was kind of like not very confident in the island Ugh. I, don't, I don't want two songs going on at once Let's warp to the island and just walk around it. No! I don't. Alright. Um, maybe I should make the flowers one priority, the lower ones one priority too? Oh yeah, I can remove these doors too now. But yeah, I'm glad that everything else is looking pretty good. And this will be where you enter the forest. <laughs> nah. Your intentions are in the right place. You're not annoying. Oh yeah, I didn't set the collisions of the Pokemon Center at all yet. 
I don't think I've set the collisions for this building either. Cool! Now I can just walk on it. I also didn't set the priority for those. Okay, nice. I have a lot of stuff I need to do, and it involves... Um... Setting the pathing for things, but yeah, I'm glad that everything's looking a little bit better. Pixel, hey, welcome, man. Thank you. I'm glad everything's looking pretty good so far. It's getting to the point now where I can like walk around the maps and like be kind of proud of how they look, which is a pretty nice feeling. Okay, you should be able to pass on all of these, and I think around here is when you should be able to start walking behind it. So, no passage on these tiles. Yes, passage on these. No passage on these. So, something like this, I think. Should be good. Cool. And then for priority... Oh, wait, no passage. Wait. Yes, passage on these. And then for the priority, this should be three, three, three. Now is the fun part of setting the priorities of all of these, just to make sure that everything looks good. These all gotta be three. Cool. Now I think this building should be good. Neopolar, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, dude, check it out. Oh, man, Neopolar. How have you been, man? Um, I've been updating to black and white, so the format of my, over, uh, my overworld sprites has changed. And um, some, back, some back sprites. Yeah, the back sprites for the starters would be really nice. Um, so yeah, Neopolar, do you want to see something cool? So this is the island I've been working on for the stream today. I still need to fix a couple things for like tiles and stuff. But everything's looking pretty cool. I got new tile sets, new new lots of stuff. And uh, let me show you something that I've been showing everyone that's that I'm pretty proud of. All right, take a look, Neopolar. Are you ready? so cool I have to keep showing it off to everyone it's so cool man all right I'll beat this guy and then I'll show you the other one I still need to paraplux like thudding into the ground I think that's the base determined on the uh, the weight it might not be why does he know confuse Ray why did I give him Confuse Ray? I messed something up there. That's a, that's a quick fix though, quick change. Eh! Come on, dude. I need to beat this guy so I can show off the other animation. So I can blow your mind again. I swear to God, if you... If you miss or hit yourself in confusion, I'm just gonna close the game. I told you I'd do it. I told you I'd do it. Sun Moon. I know, right? Such Sun Moon. Oh, it's so good. The thought is based on weight. Okay, yeah. I need to adjust the weight of him then. That's... That's a quick fix, too. Okay. Edgy. Edge. Okay. Let me show you the other one, too. So check this out, Neopolar. There are other alternatives too. There's a ton of others. Any new sprites? There's only one new sprite. It's the overworld sprite for the professor. And uh, I created that one. Um, let me show you the, uh, or send you the format. I'll have to send you the format sometime, Neopolar, for what I'm doing for mine, like the uh, the resolutions and stuff. Well, let me go to the professor's lab. So this is the really the only new, oh, sorry. You're probably talking about Pokemon sprites. We do have a lot of good new Pokemon sprites. As for overworld sprites, the only overworld that's new is the professor. Um, a not so cute one. Okay, let me check it out. Yeah, let me check it out. Yeah. Um, which ones have you missed? I've got a lot now that I've downloaded uh, and have in the game. Like one that I keep showing everyone. Also, that's my favorite. If you've missed the Neopolar is um, Paraplux Evolution Parashock. 
It's very nice. Parashock is the one that I... It's my go-to to show everyone. Let me check out this not-so-cute also. Making a basic fish into a bomb swordfish. Okay. And you didn't look up what a swordfish looks like? That's probably a good idea, actually. Try drawing a swordfish without knowing what a swordfish looks like. Hmm. Let's see, a not-so-cute rock one. I kind of like that, actually. He has tusks. The concept of it evolving and gaining tusks is kind of good. I like that. Like, the lower mouth. So, if this guy is like a little rock with little crystals on top, that'd be kind of cool. We have so many birds. Yeah, we do have a lot of birds. But the thing is, we are probably not going to be adding any more. Voodoo? I don't know. You would have to definitely refine the uh, the art style and art skills. Up, up the... Uh... Up to artistry. Practice makes perfect, you know. Yeah, we do have a lot of birds, but we are going to probably not have very many more birds or any more birds. We're reaching the bird limit. But yeah, I like the concept maybe of, of like a little rock guy with little crystals on him like this. And then he gains tusks. I like the tusks. I like that. Greetings, Mrs. Mrs. Poketate. May I inquire what is popping? How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay, up art style. Uh, just draw a lot of stuff. I like these bipedal as well. Yeah, the little the little feet on the rock. This this has a lot of potential to be a little crystal guy and then evolve to like a tusks. I like it. I see all of them? Okay, yeah. Let me show them. There's a lot that I've received that aren't uh, in the game. But we have been doing a lot of spriting. Mucho sprites. I'm here nonetheless. And welcome nonetheless. How you been? And this one, this one we've kind of been working on refining the design for a little bit. Because I kind of would like to see the removal of teeth. I like the eyes. I feel like maybe the eyes should be more flat line. Oh god. What have I done? Okay. And then kind of reduce the clutter down here a little bit. Lucky for me. Yeah, lucky for me, the spriting practice. Absolutely lucky. Am I looking to put in? Right now I'm looking to put in um, 80 as the target, but we've got so many great ideas, the number might rise. We might do more than 80. Maybe... Maybe 90. Look at this guy. Okay. What was I doing? There was something I was doing. It was something important, probably. Damn, right? There's some pretty good looking ones, Poketate, right? The stuffs, but is them a name or any of the evolutions? Okay, let me take a look. Oh! I like it. I actually really like that. Let me, let me bust this out. Some Pokedex. Yeah, we plan to like replace the entire Pokedex eventually. So I like this little basic guy, but the evolution into like like a rich fish. <laughs> I like that. I like his start where he's basic, but then he gets more complex. My one, the one thing I don't like is how similar the second one looks to the third one. I love the look of the third one, and I love the look of the first one. I would like the second one to be... I don't know, it's hard to describe. A kid, yeah. Please. Yeah. But yeah, I like the design of the third one, and I like the design of the first one. I think the second one might be a little too close to the third one, but other than that, I, l I like that. I really like that. Like the little hair and the little 
That's like a really good swordfish. That's a really good swordfish. Poke, poke. Look at that. I like that little, like, eh. Like, if this fish is making a sound, like, imagine right now he's going just, eh. That's the sound. Eh. Let's see, at least the nose maybe? Maybe. He's more shark. Hey, welcome, man. So we do have two sharks right now, but I think I'm gonna remove it so we only have one, and it's a hammerhead. Kind of like... Pretty cool. At least the nose maybe? Maybe. Yeah, maybe make the nose a little shorter on the second one. Reduce the tail fin a little bit. Maybe even reduce the amount of hair. Because this one's got a little bit of hair. I feel like the second one should maybe also have reduced. I know, right? These pre-release leaks. You get an early look. And then the second one has a ton of, like, this tuft. I like it. I like it. Spoilers. Yeah, we got all the spoilers in this. Alright, so now that this town is basically done... Oh yeah, I still have to do... That's what I was doing. I was doing a tile set editing. I'm glad that you guys are posting a lot of uh, really great art to keep me uh, busy while I look at this. Okay, these need to be... And just in case, I'll put three on these too. Cool. I think for the priority of the flowers, I need to put one on all of these. Cool. Now let's try it. Now let's try it. The full version. Oh man, he got a leak. Oh man, now that doesn't look good. Or does it? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to make another lair. Yeah, this is this will be this is solvable. Very, very solvable. Where there's some other layer that's on top that has like another priority of two. Mikey, please tell me there will be no fake one in this game. Sorry, there will be a shit ton of fake one in this game. How you doing, man? Bow, bow. Let's see, what do I want to do for this? I want just the tops of the flowers to be... Okay, time to do some more tile set editing. Let's see, was it to like here? Yeah, it was to here. So what I really need to do is just... Copy this, and then make a new set of tiles. Let's see. Here comes in. I'm sorry. Alright, I'll see you then, man. Don't let the door hit you on your way out! Also, this isn't a ROM. It's a standalone ISO, if I'm, if I'm gonna be a smartass. I've played other games that, um, I've played other, I mean, I've made other uh, fan games that don't have any fake mon, but I figured I'd try something new. And if that doesn't appeal to you, then I'm sorry, but, uh, bye. It's always fun. It's true, yeah. I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, I need to raise these up a little bit. James Gyarados. You can try. That's kind of a prestigious... Pokemon to draw, though. Very complex. Some people, yeah, some people. 
it's one thing to dislike fake mon. If you don't want to play a game strictly on the basis that it has fake mon, then uh, I guess you're a loss. What did I do? Oh, I see what I did. Okay, cool. So what I need to do is put all these flowers on the second layer. Uh, take it lives. What? Did I? I don't think I did. Did I? Did I kill a man? Not literal Gyarados. Oh yeah, of course. Not literal Gyarados. Yeah, yeah, obviously. The, I don't know. The thing is, I don't know if this game is going to have that. Did I mess this tile set up a little bit? Wishy-washy. The region. Yeah, playing games that are only Fakemon are interesting. Playing games that are half and half, I don't like as much. But playing games that are 100% Fakemon, I actually kind of like. What have I done? What's your vision? Really honest? Okay, let me see. I'll be really honest with you. Let me be brutally honest. Let me be a dick. I like it. This, yeah, this one's good. Look at that little eye. Tearing into someone's been a while. I haven't teared into anyone. What? No. Did I? Dude, um, the last time I ever tore into somebody when I was streaming, when I was, when I was drunk, whenever I used to do those drunk streams. You remember that, Mightson? When I did uh, drunk stream Xenoblade. Um. When I'm drunk, I got, like, no filter, so I say mean things off the top of my head. Father, please. I need a name, Father. Oh shit, what up? You see one of the Pokemon sprites I have? You need to see it? Okay, let me show you. This one is 64 by 64 pixels. Drunk him. I know, right? PogChamp. Those were so hype. Drunk me is very hype. Am I drunk right now? No. I wish. I think it'd be cool now that like marijuana is the whole like there's the whole legalization thing to do a high stream one of these days. That'd be cool. Or inter it'd be interesting. I'd probably just fall asleep. If I am being honest. But yeah, drunk cam is like brut brutality. Like if you have feelings, then stay away from drunk cam. <laughs> If you have feelings and you don't like it when they're hurt, then then uh, drunk me when streaming is streaming high in 2016. I uh, know streaming high in 2016, being high in 2016, marijuana 2016 marijuana green text. Let's see what's tearing into someone. That's when you uh, that's when you give them a piece of your mind. That's when you uh. You know, that's when you, you tell it like it is, it turns into roast. Yeah, it'll turn into roast me. If I if I ever, like, if I ever do another drunk stream, it'll turn into roast me. Where if anyone's being stupid, then I'll just call them stupid, you know? You know, if you're being a dumbass, I'll be like, hey, shut up, dumbass. It's <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Water dog, welcome, what's up? What is the stream? I don't know. It's Lately, it's been devolving a lot, um, but... When I'm not being a degenerate, this stream is me making a Pokemon game. Uh, I've spent a lot of this stream um, polishing up an existing island that I have. Um, the island looks pretty nice. I think I'm going to work on the forest next. And uh, I've been, you know, doing a lot of polishing of other stuff. Um, if this is your first time swinging by the stream, let me show you something pretty cool. I've been showing off every. I've been showing this off to everybody. I love this animation in the game. Ooh. But yeah, just making a Pokemon stream on Twitch. It's pretty cool. We just talk and chat. Everyone's pretty cool, for the most part. Always speak your mind. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's bad or rude to always speak your mind. But you also can't be at fault, really. If you're if you're just honest all the time, that's not that's not bad. 
sometimes there's the right place, right time for the honesty. But also, you can't really be... You can be like, hey, what can I say? You know, I'm just very honest. I'm not being a degenerate. <laughs> Degeneracy. Get sad, and then they get drunk. A drunk singularity. Look how cool that is. Yeah, that's what it turns into. It's 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 a, it's a whirlpool of sadness and alcohol, which you know there are, there have been worse whirlpools. Okay. Oh yeah, that's another thing I need to do. I need to work on the Pokemon Center. This is cool, right, dude? Water doggo. So I'm making this Pokemon game, and everything's looking cool, and it's getting to the part now where a lot of the stars are starting to align, and everything's starting to look real nice. Like if if you think that's cool, that is cool. Check this out. This is also cool. best stream now right it's pretty good i think having a uh, a lot of like kind of meme -y people in this stream is good like this is this is the perfect direction to take it where we we all kind of meme a little bit but we also come up with like legitimate ideas for the game oh man i forgot it, for some reason when i call my pokemon it raises their accuracy i want to remove that store shelves see i don't know about the whole store shelves thing i'm not necessarily game freak I am a freak, um, but I'm not game freak. Oh, let me breathe memes. Perfect, you'll fit in perfectly. <laughs> we've got it. We've got we've got the meme team assembled. So this is the old tile set that I was using, where it was styled like fire red and leaf green. And recently, I've been going through the process of retiling all the maps to make them look like Pokemon Black and White. Like, look at that. Look at that. Before. After. Before. After. Wait. After. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly, Steve. <laughs> it's funny. Everything's looking nice. Uh, most things are looking nice. You're on a store shelf for three weeks. Wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Um... I need to post this on this layer and then have these go one layer lower. Cool. Right on. Gen 8 linked. Dude, this is Gen 8. That'd be crazy. Also, welcome, by the way, man. Zblink. Cancel already. No! No! <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, so this is just going to be me working on the game a lot. Hopefully it's not too cancerous. Uh, maybe I should do... Should I do the forest or the Pokemon Center? This is tough to prioritize here. Because, mm. I mean, the Pokemon Center... I think the Pokemon Center is probably a higher priority due to the fact that this is going to be used everywhere. You know, the, the layout of the Pokemon Center will be universal. Let me do some clearing of tiles to make it a little bit easier for myself. Cool. Okay, now let's change the tile set. Cross our fingers, man. On the forest. Oh, this game? Wait, the game is? Oh, what's the game called? Right now it's called Pokemon Tidal. Uh, ugh, voice crack. I need to drink more water. I'll steal my game. I'd be, I'd be honored. But yeah, I'm calling it Pokemon Tidal. Like, T-I-D-A-L with the tides, the waves. Um... That is the working title. It's not subject to change. The working title. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I I like I like Doperuni Doperu. I like Gen Seven, but I still haven't played the post game. Or I've still not played the post game. So yeah, Poketate, I'll work on the forest next. I gotta, uh, I gotta make the Pokemon Center layout. And then this will apply, oh my god, it looks terrible. This will apply to, um, all future Pokemon Centers. So we gotta really be careful with what we do here. Okay. Woodpecker Toucan, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Bobble, it's good. 
I'll do. Uh oh. <laughs> Game pretty chill. Pokemon Tides? Came from Mimamoto. Oh my god, Mimamoto. Oh, it's so fitting. Meme Amoto. <laughs> uh, something about that is just like, amazing. Meme Amoto. Okay. Let's see, what tile do we want on the floor for our Pokemon Center? Hmm. Something like this. This is what we want. Front and center when you first enter the Pokemon Center. Something like this. Something like this. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. What I should do also is take from the example made by other Pokemon Centers, but I also kind of just want to make one that's entirely my own, so we'll see how this goes. Pokemon meme. No! Not too many memes, I don't want to do that. A meme Pokemon? Oh no! <laughs> meme motivated you from Twitter. See, that'd be really cool. That's when you know. That's when you've that's when you've crossed the threshold. Let me uh speaking of Twitter, let me put my Twitter back over here. A rare Pepe Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> ah. The clown sightings, yeah. Poor Poplio, man. Okay. So maybe I what I should do actually is look at a uh, existing Gen 5. Let me just pull up a picture. Can I search, uh, just Gen 5 Pokemon Center? What do the images show? So this is the interior. Interesting. This is a, this gives me a lot to base myself off of. Because I don't want to do the upper floor. Also, this is Heart Gold Soul Silver. Maybe he's considered heights well. That's true, isn't he? Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Gender. Uh oh. Oh no. It's the same. Oh, no way. That's dumb. That's dumb. What have I done? Come on. Full screen. Okay. Let's make our Pokemon Center interior. Hmm. <laughs> so. Wow, this is the, uh, the counter you approach. It definitely needs to be a straight shot. That's what I need to do. I definitely want it to be a, uh, a straight shot from the door to the counter. Maybe I should move this all up one. Yeah, I think that's good. And a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, so far it's not amazing, but it's also not god awful. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Made the rock type? Okay, let me check it out. Let me check it out. Cause that that was looking really good before. He's like a little pig. I like it. Look at those little eyes. He looks like he could almost be ice. Like rock ice. I like the tusks. I don't know if I like the nose, but he definitely. Hmm. Maybe the nose could be another gem where it's shaped like ch -ch 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 with sharp angles. No. no meme heaven. What? There's no meme heaven. A river flowing into it. What? Into the Pokemon Center? I don't know about that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, you might not need the nose, but I really, really like it. I really like the the crystals. I really like the uh, the general design. Let me go and favorite all these real quick. Oh yeah, it's not favorite anymore. Twitter is like, man. Why do I gotta ruin everything? Okay. Um, 
I want to put the PC there. And then let's just... Which tiles can I get rid of and get away with? Okay. Kind of looks a little bit awkward there, though. Hmm. I have to figure this out. <laughs> okay. Um, and I would also like to have a uh, Pokemart in the uh, Pokemon Center. Maybe I should do this. Maybe make it more Stripe. That's a little too straight. There we go, that's not bad. So if I copy this general... It's a very wide Pokemon Center. I have like a mart over here where they're selling shit. And then there could also be something going on over here, like this could be a relaxation area. I'll do it tomorrow, but I won't watch this. Hey, hey! Well, you could do both, right? This is just like a chill stream, you know? Well, I mean, it's getting kind of meme now, but you know. We're just chilling. I know that feel, though. I can definitely relate. Um, do I want to make the Pokemon Center wall like this? I believe I do. The only problem now is what I do with the floor. What do I do with my hands? Hmm. This is absolutely interesting. No, because now it's the corner a bunch. Where's a non-retarded looking top? Hmm. I might have to make my own tile for this. And there's something weird going over here too. Hmm. It's getting there though, it's getting there. This is definitely getting there. One thing I want to do, maybe have like bookshelves inside the Pokemon Center. This is a place for trainers to heal up and relax with their Pokemon. So I could almost just have a rug here. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe a table. I kind of want to have a glass table though. I might have to go and make that. Um. Yeah, so far though, this is coming along. This is coming along. PK stuff. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Are you simulating for Glory Nesses? PK fire, PK fire. an interesting Pokemon Center layout. I'll give it that. Far from perfect. Probably, it's actually far from good. But yeah, having the PC be near the, uh, the healing area is definitely a, uh, a must-have. Enough room for the character? Is he on the bookshelf? Yeah, yeah, there is enough room here for him to slide by. Like, it's like a small space right here. If you're, oh, no. We might be memeing a little too hard. Okay, what if I replace this with a normal wall? What would that do? Because this is like a metal wall. I don't know, and it's all corner piece. Interesting. Put something like that there and like that there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're we're getting pretty dank already, man. <laughs> okay, let me edit the tile set a little bit. There is one particular tile that I'd like to have. Um. Indoor. Yeah. Here we go. Cool. It's good that I can just modify this at any time. It's very nice to have that flexibility. So essentially, I just want to take one of these, right? 
Actually, no, let's go back into the game and see roughly where it is. It's at the very top, it looks like. The very top of the tile. Okay, good to know. That makes my selection process a lot easier. Go down to here. 32 height. Copy. Just go to an empty tile down here. Wherever is an empty tile, I don't know. And then I just need to stretch this out to be 32 by 32. I think down here is an empty tile. Alright, like... This... Cool save. And then this can act as a... Uh, upper wall platform. Two spaces for convenience? Okay. I could do that, yeah. That's a good point. So we can, what we can do actually is make this a little smaller then. Where this kind of goes like this. Hmm. Looks like I might need to do more tile set editing for that, but it'll be worth. This will be worth. Our rare Pepe on the wall. But this is the Pokemon Center layout that's applied to every Pokemon Center. If I apply a rare Pepe, then will it really be rare? Oh. Think about that. If there's a rare Pepe in every Pokemon Center, how rare is it? Okay. So I can do that, and then that. Simple enough. Is there any shadow tiles for this? There are. Oh, what if I just did this? Will this look better or worse? Where this is a straight line, but the rest of the ground is normal. That looks so much better. Oh my god, that's like insanely better. It's obscenely better. Wow. Yeah, that really... And I can apply like a little shadow here. Actually, no, I don't know if I even need that. Yeah, okay, it's coming along. It's coming along. What's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite is either Blastoise, Tyranitar, or Zapdos. I really like those three. I really like Tyranitar. Okay, let me work on some tile sets to uh, make this Mart corner look smoother. So the problem here is the Mart corner bend and the Mart corner end need to conjoin. So that's actually pretty simple if I make some custom tiles. I might be able to do them just here. Oh, could I use this? No, it's a different type. It's lit. Empoleon. Empoleon is pretty lit. No lie. I could put it just here, actually. Where did it go? Alright, so this is one bit of counter. And then the other bit of counter that I need to copy is the ending. What I then need to do is figure out the, the placement. And I also need to make sure that it's 32 by 32. So, 32 by 32. It's still not 32 by 32. What needs to happen is this needs to slide over. There we go. Now it's 32 by 32. I can merge these. And now I need to figure out the placement. It shouldn't be too difficult. It looks like it's... This is the very top. Okay. Yeah. I can make that. I can make that. This just needs to go up one, and I think it's good. I think that's our piece. Find your piece. Your inner, your inner piece. Free to go? Alright, I'll see you, Anime Cat. Thanks for swinging by. Togepi's Evolution of Jirachi. Ooh! Jirachi's pretty good. Weasel, Roserade, Ampharos, and Froki. Pretty good. Weasel's nice. <laughs> Weave? Nah. Mudsdale. Electivire. I do like Electivire, actually. That one's got a cool design. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you, Anime Cat. Thanks for swinging by again, and thanks for the awesome art. It's beautiful concept art. Beautiful. Okay, so now what I need to do is find my corner piece that I just made. Or I guess it's corner pieces in this case. Yeah, there we go. And there's our counter. So this will be where our merchant is. Chub cloud. I know, right? I love the little chub cloud. Oh, I just want to squeeze his cheeks. Brr. 
Okay. I think this chair doesn't need to be here. What I kind of want to do is do a chair layer where there's two chairs here. So both of these need to be on layer two. And then on layer three, I need to put... That's good. Double chair. If you know what I mean. Oh! You talking about, uh... Talking about that cloud with the sword? Weeaboo cloud. Does the account just subscribe to you? That is not weird. That's actually very flattering. That is not weird in the slightest. That reminds me, actually, I need to update my uh, Twitch info. Because I don't think that it even references Thundaga beneath my channel. Oh, this is a good song. Love Surf Float, if you get my drift. If you sniff my drift. I think I sniff your drift. There's a lot of bookcases here. What else should I do in the Pokemon Center? Should I add, like, a machine? I don't know if that would look better. I kind of want to add windows, too. The question then becomes where, and when, and why. I guess I don't need to add windows there if they're covered up. Oh yeah, what I could do actually is... This is very sloppy what I'm doing right here, but, you know, you know how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get a little sloppy. Nah, that actually looks terrible behind the bookcase. I take it back. No sloppy. No sloppy. No sloppy jalopy. You gotta go to bed? Alright. Night ASTF, thanks for swinging by. 5 a.m. swim practice tomorrow? I just saw that. 5 a.m.? Ouch. Ouch. But yeah, this Pokemon Center is looking a lot better now. Let's see, was this the ball location? No, this is the exit door. This is where she placed the Pokeballs. So that can go here. She stood here. And now I need to update her to the black and white sprite. Actually, no, before I update her, let's like look at her current sprite. Okay, yeah, she does have the Nod one. Perfect! It's gonna work perfectly, man. Cool. So here's our Nurse Joy. And then we gotta have a Merchant. So here's our Merchant. The thing is, I don't know what to make him look like. I kinda wanna be chubby. Chubby Merchant. I guess we'll, we'll see if we can find a good Merchant. Him? Nah, he's a businessman. You know? 8 a.m. for you? Well, good morning, man. For me, it is 11.03 p.m. at night. Meets on those days with double practice? Oh, man, that sucks. Double trouble right there. Yeah, I used to, um, I used to practice a youngster to sell the stuff. I don't know, man. When, um, uh, when I was in high school, I used to, oh, this is perfect for the merchant. This is perfect. I used to, uh, what am I thinking? I used to have football practice, and then um, after school have soccer practice. Or football, you know, American football. For all the Europeans out there, shout outs. Okay, so here's our door exit. And this takes us to Ginkgo Island. Cool. So this appears to be all set up. And this is the PC, which needs to be here. This is the show map. Oh, I need to add a map on the wall. I'll put it on the left wall. So I can get rid of this. I can add like a mini version. I play an American football? In American football, I was kind of, I was really shitty. I still did all the, the workouts for the practice and stuff, but I was kicker. 
but I was bad at it. And then I was also like, what, special teams? I don't know. I just got hit a lot. I didn't like it. I liked soccer a lot better. I mean, football. Oh, I know what I can do to be really cheeky. Check this out. I'm gonna be cheeky. Zero, what's up, man? Welcome. How you doing? Dude, Zero. Um, when was the last time you saw a Pokemon stream? Because I have been doing a bunch of crazy shit involving updating the tile set. And it, like, I'm gonna show you some stuff that's gonna blow your mind if you haven't seen a Pokemon stream in a bit. In a, in a hot minute. I'm gonna show you some mind-blowing stuff, dude. I'm gonna show you some mind-blowing stuff. I'm gonna show you some mind-blowing stuff. Just finals and all? That sucks. But, it's good that it's almost over. It's like a band-aid, right? Keep studying. For a new battery. Dude, look at this! Oh my god, it's so dope. Yeah, man. Phone batteries? Those are going. One more one more day, and then you have two tomorrow. Okay. That looks amazing. Okay, look, I'll show you one more thing that's going to be pretty dope. Two tomorrow. Okay, good luck, have fun. Uh, more emphasis on the good luck there. Just every new person in stream the animation. I know, right? That's what I'm doing, Water Doggo. That's my thing that I've been doing all the time. I just got to keep showing them off because they're so nice. So cool. All right, let's get back to Brass Tax, which is finishing this Pokemon Center. I was going to be cheeky, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by being cheeky. So I'm going to make a map on the wall. What better map to put on the wall than the map of the region? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the region map and put it in the tile set as the map on the wall. Is Rival going to have his own music? Yeah, he will. Right now he doesn't, but... Um, I would like to get some pretty intense music up in there. And then I'll be done. Oh man, yeah. And then you'll then you'll just sleep for days. Okay, so let's take the map's region. Or, I mean, let's take the region map. The region's map. I said map's region. What? And right now this is just a rough draft of it, but I, it's fine to paste a rough draft in the uh, in the tile set. And this is going to end up being two pixels. I mean, two. So this needs to go and be like, how wide does it need to be? I think I over, overdid it. Overdid it. Let's see. Graphics. Enchanted Legendary, right? It's kind of cool. Make our own gen. Sleep and dream of Nihon Land. <laughs> Dream in Japanese. Good night. I'll catch you on YouTube. Oh, you're going to bed, Dark Eye? Alright. If you are going to bed, good night, man. Thanks for swinging by. Good stuff, as always. Let's see. Width needs to be 64. Exactly. Come on. There it is. So we're going to make our own cheeky map. Actually, no, I could make it a 3. Now I'll make it a 2. Pokemon your favorite game? Is Pokemon your favorite game? I don't know. That's a very good question. That is a good question. I, um... I mean, it would appear to be that way based on all the work that I've done on my Pokemon games. But... I don't know. There's a lot of games I really like. My favorite game of all time might be Banjo-Kazooie. Um, it might be Paper Mario Thousand Year Door or Paper Mario 64. It might be Kingdom Hearts... Or just the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Um, God, there's so many to choose from. There's so many good games. I really, really, really like Pokemon, though. How's that for a map? Not bad. I really like Dark Souls. You finally got a PS4? Nice, Zero. Nice. Dude, I finally got a PS4 also. Not to one-up you. Actually, no, it's not one-upping. We're on the same level. What's the true meaning of life? Oh, see, now we're getting into the good stuff. 
Dude, same? Okay, nice. Yeah, I really love Banjo. I love I love a lot of those N64 games. Because N64 was like the first console that I really uh played a shit ton of. That was the one I that was my uh like first console that I owned and really like went to town on, you know. Um Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, 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 this looks good. And there's our region map. On the wall. Eh, yeah, this is good. Dark Souls 3, boy. Dude, Dark Souls is so good. I love Dark Souls. I I just got... Need games on it now? Yeah, same. I got the Uncharted bundle, so I played through Uncharted 4. It was good. I also was downloading some of the PS2 on PS4 games. Those were cool. Like, um... Ape Escape 2, Dark Cloud 2, Rogue Galaxy. I want them to add, um... They need to add... Dragon Quest 8. As well as Ratchet & Clank up your arsenal. Why can't I let it be on the floor? I could. I don't know, though. <laughs> I want to have it pasted up on the wall. And now I need to update the passage for, like, all these tiles. I've really been, like... Putting it off. Okay, so yes, pass, yes, pass, no pass. These all should need to be no pass, just in case for some ungodly reason I can get back there. Counter flag, these are counters, yes. Priority, this needs to appear above the nurse lady. And this does not need to be above. And then for my Mart counter, I need to work on Passage for that as well. No pass, 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 pass. And then I also need to update this one to a big no pass. Um, counter flag, yes, these are all counters. You can all talk to somebody over it. And then priority, I think I don't really need to update the priorities for any of these. Yeah, those are good. Let's try walking around in the Mart and see how it looks. I mean, inside the Pokemon Center and see how it looks. Eh! Yeah, here we go. Weird, but that's the point. Okay. I mean, it would look different. It's definitely good to break the mold. Where am I going? Okay, here we go. So this is just a placeholder door right now. I need to animate a door for the uh, Pokemon Center. Which I guess I can do in a little bit, maybe. But this will take me to it. Actually, no, I don't think it will. It will! It takes me here, though! Okay, so now let's walk around it. The music's very quiet in here. But yeah, I, I go and look at this. Oh, whoa, shit, I can walk on it. Oh, I haven't updated the, uh, check it out, I can walk on the wall. Peach Tea, welcome, what's going on? How are you doing, what's going on? How did I just go through that? So, the reason I'm walking through some of these tiles is because I have... Made a mistake with the uh, the passage on some of them. Some of them I should not be allowed to pass. Like, for example, the bottom of this map, I should actually make impassable. Um, let's see, though. But, like... Okay, I, re I realized what I did wrong. Okay. We learning. Can I talk to her? I can! Yes, I would. And she disappears. And she's back. Oh, what the hell? She turned into the... Okay, I may have made a couple mistakes. Okay, but this it's, it's, it's nice to be uh, messing around with this and learning. And then this should take me to a ridiculous space in the island. Cool. Alright. So, we've learned a lot from just walking around in the Pokemon Center. Let's fix these problems. <laughs> Some pretty good problems that we gotta fix. There's like a whole list. I just walk around inside the Pokemon Center for like three minutes and then everything's busted. But you know, it's the uh, the learning process. So first things first, to make this map tile actually impassable. Um, I think the passability was pretty good on most of these. Um, like for the counter, that was good for passability. It was just the map there. This needs to be all impassable. Why did I... Why is this passable? I thought I definitely did do that. Apply? Did I... Is this passable too? Oh, it's not. What's going on there? Okay. Um, the priority looked good with the nurse. Just the fact that she turned into the old nurse was not good. 
Um, and if, I believe the reason that happens is because it actually calls a uh, thing that changes her sprite sheet. Yeah, this event graphic NPC. So what she needs to do actually is be this one and this one. And then the call to change graphic to NPC 16 needs to be changed to BW071A. So let's call that. Let's edit this. So this needs to be 071A. BW071A. Okay. And then this needs to be... No, I don't want to cut it. Paste it. All right. Yeah, so this needs to be 071A as well. But now it's selecting 021, 02. I think that's good. And then let's also copy, paste, and get rid of the old, this graphic. Okay. So now let's try it out. Let's see how our Pokemon Center looks now. Let's see how it looks. This looks hard now. Yeah, we're getting into the stuff that's a little more difficult. Event editing and such. Uh, maybe I should make this tile impassable. Maybe I should make this tile passable. It's a judgment call on that one. Okay, but yeah, now I can't walk over the walls, which is nice. I can use the PC. No, I can't. I cannot use the PC. This is a problem. Um, maybe I need to move this one down. It's a bitch. Well, you have to. Uh, once you do it a shit ton, you get used to it. For event editing. You just have to do it a ton to get used to it. So now I can access the PC. Cool. I can look at my books. I can look at this plant. I cannot talk to this guy here from that counter. I could edit it so it's possible, actually. I could make it possible if I wanted to. So essentially what will happen is I talk to her. She should look left. Which I need to change it so that she turns up. And then she should bow. Yeah! And there it is. Okay. So there are still a couple things wrong here. Um, one of the things that is critically wrong is the, the heel ball animation. It's like up top like that. When in reality, I need to, I need to change the sprite. So that way it's along the bottom. Because right now it's like along the top right. I need it to be like around the bottom left or the bottom center. Which um, I can do pretty easily, I think. All right. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll play some music while I go. Some chill music. Let's play, let's play a different song, though. This song is good. All right. BRB. hours without going to the bathroom and everything oh man all right I am back how's everyone yeah how is everyone doing how is everyone this fine evening all right 
So, our Pokemon Center is coming along. I need to edit the Heal Ball animation. Which, there is a script that I want to do. I wonder if now is the time to do it. Because it does modify... I don't respond. I know, it feels bad, man. I, I got you, man. I'll respond. I got you, fan. Fam. Let's see. There is one particular resource that's very nice. I love Relic Castle. Hand to sleep, man. Good luck. All right. Good night, man. Thanks for swinging by. That was fun. I'll be streaming again tomorrow, too. So if you want to swing by, hope to see you there. Have a good night's sleep. What was I going to do? There was a really nice thing that I saw but didn't do and might be now a good time to do it. Mm -hmm. Approved Pokemon Centers by Mage71. That's how you know it's good. Pup. <laughs> Doggo. Pup Pupperino. Yeah, Mage71. Very amazing scripter. Like, check it out. This is the example of, um the script. What it does is it takes the Pokeballs that the Pokemon have been caught in and and uses those inside the healing machine. So something like that. So it might be a good time to work on PS4 hot. Alright, un water underscore doggo. Okay. I don't have PS Plus but I still have it connected to the internet so I could add you as a friend, man. Gotta add some friends. I actually have zero friends on my PS4 right now. So that would be cool to add some people. So I need to add a new script section above main. Mage 71 is so good. Okay. I'll put it above ultimate title screens, but below Pokemon starter selection. Nope, be first. Let's go. Number one. Um, I'll call this Pokey Center Ball update. Apply. So this is the script by Medge71. Let me put the. I need to put this to remind myself. That way, I will never forget to credit. I've actually added credits for all my stuff. For a long PS4 hashtag. <laughs> That's me, man. Or is anyone else too? When your opponents, but the recall doesn't kill him. Feels bad when they use Brave Bird and then they don't die at low health. I don't know. I actually I used to really love Brave Bird, but then I got hit by Brave Bird and then I was like, okay, all right, this move is a little uh, a little strong. It's pretty good, pretty good move. Okay, so I need to get the graphics. Balls. Rar. Your mom comes into your room and sees you downloading a zip file just called Balls. What's she gonna think? Actually gotta go? Alright. I'll see you next time, man. Into graphics slash pictures. Add this folder. Add the folder into graphics slash pictures. Okay. So I just I need to have a new folder in my pictures called balls. Graphics, pictures, balls. So if I ever change the Pokeballs in my game, then I will want to um, update these graphics. Cool. Now for setting up the events, instead of making it overcomplicated, here's an example map with the necessary events. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might as well download that. What's on my map 9? Because if my map 9 is a big deal, then I don't want to overwrite it. What's it? Is it Kurt's house? 6... 11... Okay, it's just, a, it's just the... Another Pokemon Center, so I can get I can get rid of this. All right, so I actually need to close RPG Maker for this one. I'll download Map Nine. 
fucking I hate these things that are like, please! I'm like, no! Go away! Okay. So I've downloaded his map 9. Search downloads for RX data. Map 9. Cool. So now I go back into my game, go into my data, and replace my map 9 with his map 9. So now when I open the game again, it'll have a new Pokemon Center that has the updated event. Alright. So his map 9 is also the Pokemon Center, but it has the new event. So Healing Ball's right. Healing Ball's left. So the Healing Machine is still vertical in this case. So if I copy this to my Pokemon Center, there will still be the verticality issue. So I might still need to modify this. I could mod make it so that way... Hmm. This is going to be an interesting one to... An, an interesting one to modify. Yeah, never... There's no such thing as too much revives, that's true. In terms of, like, items to give players in this, it'll definitely be nice to give them a bunch of revives. So now what I need to do also is look at his Nurse Joy. Actually just copy it for now, and then uh, then take a look at the, the inner workings. So this does the script, so it calls a script. Set move route. Mart? Who's Mart? This is Mart? I need to change that set move route. Yeah, this needs to be a set move route for this event, I believe. Um, okay, let's run it and see if it crashes anything. See how it looks. Because essentially it'll look a little weird because I'm not healing at the counter. Yes. Hey, look, it's moving Mart. Interesting. So even though I have the events here... What the heck? Let's get to school now, unfortunately. Alright. Well, thanks for swinging by, man. I'll see ya next time. It was cool chilling. So this one's still using the old healing balls. Oh, I see what the problem is. I messed up. This is healing balls left. Okay. So this is the old one. So why is this one still animating the old one, though? Oh, it's because it does the move route for animation for the left and then the right. That's what's going on here. So it needs to be calling healing balls left. Healing Ball's right, and then wait, and then set move root, Healing Ball's left, Healing Ball's right. So those were the ones that need to be moved. Okay. We're making progress. We're getting there. Our Pokemon Centers are coming along very nice. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Blah, blah, blah. We can restore your Pokemon. See, that's a Pokeball. Okay. I need to... get some Pokemon in different types of Pokeballs, but... at least... this is... getting there. Okay. So what I need to do now... It's kind of unfortunate. I need to modify this in a way to make it so that way I can have one on the left and one on the right. For the healing. I can kind of just delete my old Nurse Joy. Even though I actually know it'd be nice to uh, copy her this event graphics. And paste it for the this event graphic. Delete, and then this event graphic. Oh, never mind. This one doesn't do it. Cool. And it was 071? 
BW071. Alright, we'll send up don't mind. Okay. For sure, man. Let me see. So now I've got our new Nurse Joy in. We've got the new healing balls. The problem is everything's off center now. If I could just make it on one event. It might be possible to do that actually. Cause so that's one, three, five. I need to make one for two and four and six. This might be possible to do if I just make more event pages. I could try messing around with it. Alright. Let's talk to her and see how it looks. Okay. So I can get rid of the old healing balls now, I guess. That's five, six, seven. What I could do, okay, let's let's try an experiment here. So this is left, this is right. Right has two, four, six. Okay. Copy paste, and now let's modify this one. Let's do some modifications. Sent it. Okay, let me check. Do, 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 do. Nothing yet, but I'll uh, I'll I'll refresh. Oh, interesting. It's set the graphic. Hmm. The graphic's in the top right, it seems. I could potentially just move this to be everything to the left. I need to see what happens when I have a full team. Yeah, let's try let's try this with a full team. Full team. Full team. Full team. Full team. Oh, let me see it. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like the cones have shadows on top of them. Hmm. The ball that you have to put one in? Yes, that's what I've been working on. I personally didn't make the script. It's made by the very talented Medge71, who's done a lot of amazing scripts. Um, and I'm trying to tweak it a little bit. Um, but yeah, essentially that's the idea. It's gonna change the um, it's gonna change to show the type of Pokeball that people are in. Looks like if I use debugs, I can actually change the ball that the Pokemon is from. Yeah, I can change its Pokeball. So this guy has been caught in a Master Ball. Debug. I need to duplicate again. And then this guy's been caught inside of a great ball. This guy's been caught inside of an ultra ball. Now let's save, talk to the lady, see what happens. See what happens to the, the graphics as well, how the update works. Hmm. So it definitely looks like I need both at the moment. If I can combine them into one, that'd be great. So now let's look at our graphics folder actually and see what's going on here. Yeah, it is. it actually is physically updating the graphic. Okay, so let's make a new event page. That's basically a duplicate of this. Um, where it's this one for the right side? No, wait, no. It's this one on the left side. So let's see. Left, left, left. Conditions. That's the variable Pokemon center. Heal variable. Center healing ball. 
is two or above. Oh, never mind, but this is gonna make it alternate. Hmm. Yeah, this actually won't work. Almost make it freak out. Maybe I could look at the script and see if I could make it apply to one central one. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. It takes in two graphics. Healing balls left, healing balls right. Oh, it's deleting and saving. Interesting. And there's the placements and everything, too. So it definitely seems possible to do. Hmm. Well, I'm about doing it on stream right now, though. This is definitely kind of like an off-stream thing to mess around with. Okay, but at least we got it, you know, kind of working. I can just delete this event page, so it's 1, 3, and 5. Okay. So I'll be messing around with that later, probably. Oh, uh, what else is there to do? I don't know. I might just end the stream now. Now might be a good time to hit the hay. Because I kind of want to grind away on that, but I kind of don't want to stream it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with what was done in this stream tonight. Uh, worked on this island, worked on the Pokemon Center. Got a lot of good uh, ideas for Pokemon in. Polished some stuff, you know. Very nice. It's very nice. But yeah, I think I'll end now and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, actually. Uh, Thursday, December 8th for me. Uh, yeah, good night. And I'll see you next time again. Mwah. Bye, guys.